Okay, hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Is my audio louder today? Or does it sound terrible? I tried to really gain it up. Is it, it am I just, am I coming through clearly? Do you prefer the way I sounded on the last stream? Like, what's up, man? Like, how's it, <laughs> how's it sounding? You know, crisis, maybe you can, you could say something too. Like, it's crisis really loud, like in audio. Yo, oh, am dude, I too you, loud or what? <laughs> dude, you just fucking ear raped the bar. Hold on, yo, you just ear raped the bar. There's no way. <laughs> I was maxed out. Hold on, I gotta turn you Am down. I too loud? Am I too loud? <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay, so I've learned two facts since my last stream. <clears throat> I think the reason my streams got nerfed is because I stopped making them public. So YouTube's like, oh, he's fallen off. Because, like, the overall view gain of the streams goes down. Because they don't stay up. So I kind of have to keep them up now. I, I sort of had that revelation because <clears throat> on my channel, right, um, I uploaded that Gohan video. And it, it low-key, like, flopped for the time. It'll probably it'll grow over time. Most It seems like my video is more of an algorithm-type channel now where the videos, like, grow after, like, two months or something. That seems to be how it kind of goes. Um, except for, like, the last, like, Naruto versus Goku one. That, that one, like, went viral because, like, memes and shit. But I was like, well, why did this Gohan one, like, stop growing? Right? Like, what What about this video stopped its growth? Like, what? It was it was doing better than, like, every other video I made at the time. Like, it did better than Beerus, Goku, and all those videos. And then it just sunk down, like, number nine. And I was like, what did, what about it went so wrong? Like, I don't understand. And so I thought about it, and I actually think that because I've been uploading, like, 30-minute long videos, that because that video is only 17 minutes, the watch time is just so much lower that YouTube's like, yeah, this is a flop-ass video. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And so they kind of stopped pushing it as much. So I kind of have to, like, pray that, like, in, like, three months, it just blows up like the other ones and then i was like yeah that's probably what happened to my stream as well like my stream uh the overall like views went down because i started uh unlisting them um and then youtube's like he's flopping like so it's like yeah it's it's weird i don't know so i guess i'm gonna start keeping these up i don't know maybe you guys were warning me low-key um but overall like when i look at the channel um I do, I do like the the way it's looking. Everything seems to be going up. That Meruem video needs to get thrown into like some weird like algorithm, like away from my fan base. Um, that happens a few times. Like, I, it happened back in the day. So when I uploaded like Death Note or my first God of War video, or um, there's a few types of videos that happens. So what happens is, is that YouTube will just be like, yeah, your fans don't give a fuck about this type of video. It's like Hunter Hunter and like JJK. I'm like a Naruto Dragon Ball man, right? Um, and so they're like, all right, we have to figure out who would actually watch this video. And then that takes like, it takes like two or three months. So like, that's like the whole weird YouTube pro. But otherwise I'm like, yo, the channel is looking great. Actually, like, um, the newer videos, like they're, they're starting to climb and surpass videos from like a year ago, kind of like they're getting to that point. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just looking great. Like I really, I really enjoy it. So Especially that Piccolo one. I was like, please, Piccolo, please get 500k, please. <laughs> and so, like, if it's finally, you know, getting up there. And so, I've been feeling good about it. <clears throat> um, The Grey Jedi are dumb. No, okay. So, I'm not going to talk shit about why I did, I put that on the stream. But <laughs> I, had a, I had a funny dialogue with Leaf Blade about that. And we were talking about... Let me, let me just, like, read verbatim the conversation after these donos. Yeah, no, I should have kept the streams up. You were right, actually. Like, low-key. That's actually why my stream started getting nerfed. Because I wasn't listening. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind, of, it's kind of fitting, isn't it? I actually have to keep them up. Hold on. <clears throat> Thank you for the $5, by the way, Kimimaro. Thanks for the $4 in total, Mr. Alex. I appreciate you guys. All right, 
Yeah, Leaf Blade is a Pokemon attack. Yeah, but it's also a person. So I was talking to Leaf Blade, and he was like, Oh, yeah. How do you feel about Toriyama making Yamcha a cheater? And I was like, Oh, you know, like Yamcha like idolized women. So, like, and then that's why he was scared of him so much. So then when he got over that fear, like, you know, he started just like fucking pumping it out, right? Like, he didn't, like, obviously his weird idolizing nature wasn't going to turn out well. Um, once the novelty wore off with one woman, right? He kind of wouldn't want to seek that idolizing feeling again. Um, and then Leaf Blade just replies, yeah, like Luke developing from Return of the Jedi to The Last Jedi. <laughs> and I was just like, um, you know, uh, maybe, maybe you could argue, uh, he idolized his dad and then feared what the Sith could do to people, but it's kind of weird. And he's like, and then he's like, Oh, I was meaning that, you know, his first attempt at rebuilding the Jedi into what he mythologized them to be would go exactly right. Like, Yamcha, who was forced to give up on Bulma, Luke gives up on the Jedi way. I'm just like, this is the weirdest, this is the weirdest correlation of, like, narrative I've ever heard in my life. Like, Yamcha cheating on Bulma is like Luke giving up the Jedi Order. You know, I was like, fuck it, you know, maybe, maybe he's spinning. I don't know. <laughs> it's the same. Yo, before I start ranting, I need to go get my inhaler real quick, so I'll be right back. One sec. What's up, chat? I don't believe Grey Jedi were ever official. So it's kind of like, what's your definition of Grey Jedi? What do you mean by that? Uh, is this VOD going to be up? Probably based on what he was saying earlier, right? That's more beneficial to leave it up. Makes me think, what What am I going to do with my streams? Gunblade? Oh my gosh. I consider Ahsoka Tano was a great Jedi. Um, but she's not a Jedi at all. So again, it's like, is your definition of Jedi a light side user that is not bound to any, like, single sect? You know? Um, if that's the case, then, you know, sure, that's kind of your arbitrary definition. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Bro called you noodles. Yeah, that's Crisis Comics. Let me put that as text on the screen. Hold on. Add new text. With Crisis YouTuber. <laughs> make it some like, make it impact text because it looks cleaner. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> Just found out Seth can't program. Fraud. I'm more. I'm more of like a social programmer. You know what I mean? That's what. That's what the uh, the fellows would say. Programs arguments. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Low key, am a programmer. <laughs> no noodles just the sauce yeah apparently noodles like uh breakdown of what type of noodles he is is sort of like some plain type of some plain type of spaghetti noodles or something i don't remember if it was ramen or no it would be ramen noodles like plain ramen noodles mm. that's very uh, um not interesting seth did you watch spider-man uh no i fucking okay so my theaters didn't okay my theater doesn't have spider-man but it's getting bat the dark knight trilogy apparently so i i'm gonna go watch the dark knight like crisis will be watching spider-man i'll be watching the dark knight you know so there you go <clears throat> that's gonna be cool to see though like dark knight in theaters i actually want to see dark knight more than spider-man but i wish i could see both 
Also, I also watched Dune Two, and Dune Two was was like Dune Two was like really good actually. I at first I was like, at first the first one I watched the first one I was just like chilling in my bed on my laptop like I watched it on like YouTube movies or whatever, and I was like this movie sucks like <laughs> this movie is terrible, um, and it's just like some weird white savior kind of thing, and then I don't know the second one. The second one just had more aura. Like, he drinks, like, this worm piss and then does, like, this, like, weird, like, psycho messiah kind of thing. Um, yeah. Which is, like, way, it's a lot more interesting, low-key. And, I don't know, he just had aura, and I, I really enjoyed it. But, I don't know, Christ, what do you think? You watched both, right? Yeah. I um I definitely think he has an aura, but I think, like, like I don't know. What do you do? You, what do you mean by that? Because I, I had a similar thing where I was like, he's cool, but I don't think you're supposed to feel that way. I think you're supposed to be like, oh, this is really bad that he is getting involved and like taking advantage of their their fake religion, you know? Yeah. So it, I, I, you're definitely not supposed to side with him or think that what he's doing is right. Um, I don't know. This guy always follows me around talking about like apologize about Toriyama. Um, we talked about all that stuff with me and Toriyama already. We talked about that on Let's Tackle Life. So if you want to hear everything I said about Toriyama, my relationship with him, stuff like that, you can watch the, I think it's Let's Tackle Life. It's either that one or Black Flash. I don't know. It's the stream after, though, the Bad Boys one. So go watch that one. I'm over it. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, moving on. Um... League of Legends Peak Toxicity versus Modern Warfare 2 2009 Peak Toxicity. Which is more toxic? Bro, people in Modern Warfare 2 were kicking me offline. Like, they were, they would, like, they would flood your fucking modem and knock you offline, like, calling you slurs and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Um, you say a slur in League of Legends, you get, like, you just get banned. <clears throat> um... So I gotta I gotta go with Modern Warfare 2, hundred percent. Um I don't think it's even debatable actually at all. Uh but yeah. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2 is pretty crazy. Even like all the clips the clips you see on YouTube where like those guys with the riot shields are arguing on that one map. I forgot what it's called. Um that that's not even like that crazy compared to the most of the shit you would hear on there. It's actually kind of tame. That's like that's like Twitter toxic, you know, like they see that shit on Twitter, like, dude, they were crazy back then. It's like, this yeah. is just, this is like tame shit. This is like almost like placating to like the current culture standards. Like it, it got way worse than that all the time. Um, so no, like it, it was bad, bro. Like it was bad. <clears throat> yeah. Those devs back in the day did not, they did not give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Doing. Dude, there's this, there's this guy called the pro who like fucking like jtagged his xbox so he had like moderator and admin perms and like there was some kid who fucking like dicked on him and like got a nuke and started calling him the n-word so he like fucking banned his xbox from xbox live and shit like oh, it was sure. fucking crazy bro it was crazy how do you explain that to your parents back then? i don't know like, no, he hacked Xbox. Like, he he did, hacked dude, Xbox. he would. He, he fucking J tagged his Xbox, so he had like mod perms, so he could. Uh, he was basically a fucking Xbox employee. Like <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Pure evil. Yo, what's up, Clyde? Cloyd. Clyde, you want to get on this stream for a little bit? We're just chilling for like I don't know, I don't know, fifty minutes. We're trying not to go too long. Because uh, Crisis and I have work, but if you just chilling, it's all good. <clears throat> yeah, no, dude. Modern Warfare 2... Fuck, dude. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 was so toxic. So, you know, like... You know when I was, like, getting exposed or whatever? And you know, you notice how all of it's from, like... Most of it's, like, 2017 and, like, 20, like, 16 shit. 
Bro, that's just like a sliver of what Modern Warfare 2 made me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, like the crazy shit I used to say, like it's just it was just a fraction of what would be on these old games, bro. Uh especially like with the old um the old fucking like custom games on there and stuff. Bro. Like it was it was insanity, bro. It was insanity. Not remotely comparable. I want to say that back in the day, things like Dungeons and Dragons or like League of Legends or like World World at Warcraft, or whatever World of Warcraft, it was kind of considered geeky and like not cool. But it felt like it felt like the normal kids and the cool kids still could like play COD and like talk shit. If that made sense. So I feel like the I feel like the MOBA the MOBA base tended to be softer and a bit more sheltered in comparison. If that made more sense as well i don't know i also think like i said the devs as opposed to the like cod devs they kind of wanted to guide guide the fandom into like certain yeah areas like if you see like the top players right like, yeah okay so this is, this is what they're going for they're trying to oh, foster shit. Clyde wants to join nice they're trying to foster that <clears throat> Hello. I have been added in. Do you just wake up or are you about to go to sleep? No, nah, I, I still haven't slept. So caught me in a good time though. Yeah. yeah. Watching this. Yeah. And then seeing that dude bitching about the Toriyama thing. And I'm like, man, was two hours of being in shock not enough? Like, yeah. I, dude. And then we talked about it on the next stream as well. Like, I talked about like me and him had a love hate relationship. I was explaining. It's, he's so annoying, bro. He just keeps making these alt accounts and following me. Like, he's so <laughs> Nothing, annoying. Nothing's it's the same sad. guy. <laughs> nothing's more sad than that, bro. But at the same time, it's like, imagine going through the effort of having to remake all those fucking accounts every time we get banned. Fuck that shit. I know. Like, I didn't even fucking, like, hide from it or nothing. Like, I was like, yeah, I did this and that. And that was it. I was thinking the other day, it's like the worst part about the internet is, like, if it's on paper or on record, like, you can never have a thing get said without it being repeated like at all it's like the only time in history where like someone can be condemned for every word that's ever left their fucking mouth without context <laughs> yep <clears throat> i'll be on him every time <laughs> dude the black ops custom banners are crazy dude yeah, you be joining Search and Destroy Lobby, you seeing cock and balls and shit every fucking cock and game. balls, swastikas, like fucking all kinds of shit, man. They got creative too, like yeah. No, some of them were they had little Mozarts on those things sometimes, bro. Like yeah, but it was just mm -hmm. hate, hate fueled though. Like <laughs> yeah, I remember, uh, I remember Black Ops Two put a lot more work into the customization for the cards, so like people were doing some fucking crazy shit because Black Ops One had only a certain amount of slots for like uh like you know things you could upgrade but it got so bad good thing no one was recording me when i was playing modern warfare 2 that's right that was pre-christian days billy so you get a pass <laughs> that was when we were all like teenagers bro like you know what i'm saying we're like fuck i'm pushing 40 like i can't you know can't i relate. avoided all that because i knew this one guy who uh he was like, again, we were, we were, I was even younger than you guys were, but, uh, I knew this guy who was super into COD and he was just like an actual sweat Lord in real life. And so I was oh, like, shit. Nah, not, I, not me. Like, I can't do it. Like, I just, I, I'd rather play Halo. Like that, that was me. Bro, I played a free mode game of GTA four and I watched this man abuse this kid in voice chat and boot him offline. Like it was like this Yo, fucking grown we were, we were talking about that too, bro. Remember the pro? Like how that kid dropped a fucking yeah. nuke on him and was called yeah. him the N-word and he got banned. <laughs> like he banned him with his J tag. Like that shit was crazy. I remember there was I remember there was that Xbox guy, Major Nelson or whatever back in the day. Yeah. And um there was guys that worked for Microsoft. I remember uh, Woody's Gamer Tag tried to get unbanned, and they would always bitch and moan about it because people were getting like perma bans on Xbox back in the day pretty easily. My M Dub, like my original fucking Xbox account, got banned till the year nine 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 nine. That was <laughs> fucking sad. I remember I was dicking on a kid in like Halo Reach assassination, and then like he was, we were talking shit, and he was like a Russian kid or something. 
And he would just like kept kicking me offline. I was like, and he's like, yeah, did you like get kicked offline? I'm like, no, I kicked my Xbox. I turned it off on accident. You didn't do shit. <laughs> like, uh -huh. I kept rejoining and beating him up on the game. <laughs> it was kind of yeah, funny. It's the same, it's the same <laughs> shit my friend Anton was doing. We were in a GTA game and then like this guy's like, I'm going to, I'm going to load up my shark uh, booter and kick you offline. And then friend Anton's yelling on the mic. He's like, do it, you fucking pussy. Kick me offline. Kick me offline, you fucking bitch. And like, you were saying that for about an hour and the kid never kicked him offline. He's full <laughs> of shit. <laughs> what? What did we say that was confusing? Yeah, I always get paranoid. I'm like, did I fucking misspeak? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what did we, what did we say? <laughs> yeah, no, they used to kick uh, people off like that, though. The assassination tower, yep, yeah, we were chilling. <laughs> we were <laughs> chilling. I think, I think it was the Forge World, like open world assassination one, though. I think when I when that happened, more like the field area rather than the gulch. <laughs> Question for Crisis, can Link be scaled to Universal? Yay or nay? Yeah. Um, the three... The three, um, like, creator goddesses, they uh, it stated on the website that they also made, like, multiple other universes, like Termina. Um, they're just, like, random cracks in reality that their energy poured through. And Link, especially in Ocarina of Time, gets multiple, like, offensive and defensive weapons made by those same goddesses that... Um, they would only logically be more powerful than like, oh, I just accidentally, like some of my power accidentally leaked out and created some universes, you know, random XD, LOL, um, compared to like actual just blatantly destructive spells. So yeah, I think universal and beyond. Seth, they never beaten the allegations. That's me in the picture, actually. That's like my current work environment. Like, <laughs> yeah, guys, streaming from my house. What's up? <laughs> 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 can't afford my bills anymore so i just have the camera like in there <laughs> that's yeah, some... on the other side of that is like an led like computer like so yeah. got got some like a queen a clean swoosh of uh of the sewer pipe water today no piss in here i don't think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> strong, strong fucking immune system mm, yep haven't been sick for a long yeah. time Caleb Roberts, uh, you should you should super chat that N word pass. You should do that. That that, that way we have it on our uh, in writing. You know, you know, Afro Senju gave me the N word pass, Clyde. Like he specifically wrote it out in the uh, the James debate that I had. Well, <laughs> it was so I wasn't. It was so random, but I was like, yo, thanks. Like I guess. Like, do you want? You should. Pay Bro, you gonna cash that in? I gotta cash it in. Yeah. That pick is literally me. Yeah, that's Hong Kudetti's fucking suit on. Uh, someone said like, uh, Seth, what was the argument that made you Christian? I think it's like a, it's like a Mari Emanuel approach. Like, I don't even think I have faith. I think it's just a fact. Um, but uh, I don't know. It. Uh, I feel like for me, it was less about like an argument and more about. Uh, the way that it applied to my worldview. Um, I feel like I've... I feel like I've had a pretty, like, intricate relationship with God and stuff like that. That's kind of led me through very specific things in my life. So, obviously, when I got canceled, like, you know, it was, like, a huge path of redemption and stuff. And it was... It was pretty crazy. It was more like... It, it's less about the argument and more about kind of... A, a piece that fit into my beliefs and kind of solved all my questions. Like if you look at my older streams, it'll be like Seth has a morality crisis or Seth talks about religion. Uh, you'll kind of realize that like the, that Jesus and like Christianity is like the antithesis to those beliefs and kind of like solves all of the problems I ever had with the world. So when I started to like actually look into the facts, like was Jesus real? Like all these things, it just started I found that I just found that it was just more real and then more plausible than less as I kept looking into it. And, um, it just made everything in my life just sort of make sense. Um, so yeah. And you know, like 
here we are today. You know, I'm, I'm chilling with Clyde on stream because of Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, that's maybe maybe that's an argument for you, right? Like, you know, so I do think it's pretty serious. Also, uh, you know, pray for Mr. Mr. Mari. He got uh, he got stabbed on stream. I think two days ago by a by a Muslim. Um, oh, was that the fucking yeah. the, the Sydney fellow? Yeah. Oh, that was insane. Is he someone that you watched? I, I do. I watch him sometimes. Yeah, he's he's very passionate and you know very genuine. You can tell. Uh, so yeah. Uh, crisis, crisis, crisis was telling me that the knife was sheathed though, so like he didn't actually get like hurt or something. I don't know. But... Apparently, there's some conflicting reports. Uh, the the recent like news from the area says that he is kind of in critical condition. Yeah, so. I seen I seen that he was stabbed, but luckily he wasn't hit vitally. But he, but mm. the guy that was tackled to the ground was stabbing other people while he yeah. was on the ground, and he was smiling. Other people got superficial cuts, and yeah, there was a pick picking the guy's face out there, and he's looking very uh very pleased ah. with himself. Yeah, topics like that are very crazy, but um, oof. one thing that was um pretty chatty about it was uh, he was praying for him mid while getting attacked. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. I love Mari, bro. He's, he's real. <clears throat> he's hella real. Um. Anyway, um, you guys might like this. I'm gonna post the picture in the chat. You could uh put it on the screen. But should... this is from the latest Nightwing issue. And see if you spot anybody familiar. <laughs> let me let me look. Yeah, really? I know exactly what that is. Yeah. Oh wow. Just blatantly, right? Like, hold no, on. I'll, I'll put this on screen. This is kind of interesting. Yeah, it's fucking. I've seen that on Twitter. It's so good. Shinori Master, I pull up to the stream and I don't even see you dropping a big super chat. Like, like where's, seriously. Where's Waldo, boys? <laughs> Sorry. No grand entrance. That's crazy. I wonder if they got like an actual approval for that or a commission. I think that it's blatantly him. Like, it, they, yeah, it's I not feel even like. They like have to. Yeah, it is definitely him. Bro, the only thing that's not is the fact that his shoes are off for the rest of him. It, it's him. Like, it's 100% him. Yeah. yeah. That's from Nightwing, you said? Yeah, it's the Nightwing 300 just came out. That's very interesting, actually. Um, We did get a dono earlier, so... Uh, Darth Sidious versus Grammy from Bleach. Have a good day. You too. That's what I'm talking about, Caleb. That's what, what the fuck? About. Yo, what the fuck? See, see, I, I just come in. I come in here with that Jewish tongue, and next thing you know, a hundred bucks. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Bro, got the magic touch. <laughs> Me and Seth could have been begging for hours, and we just people be spitting on us. Dude, I legit, I spit that fucking. What? I start talking in them. Uh, what's it called? That uh, Alga something or other. Uh, that I speak in them tongues from Dune, and then fucking <laughs> in comes the donos. Donate, <laughs> like reverberate. Yeah. <laughs> like... You use the voice on me, <laughs> bro. Did you watch Dude, Dune too, Clyde? I haven't seen the second one yet. You gotta but, uh, peep I it, bro. It. You gotta peep it. I watched the uh, the first one about a month ago, and it was uh, I. So I'll say this: like, it's fucking slow, but when it's good, it's a really good movie, and the soundtrack's great. But the holy second one, shit. the second one does everything better. Even the slower parts yeah. are entertaining. Well, that, that's good to look forward to because the first one, I like, I actually liked it. it. Was it was a good movie, but they just wasted too many too many scenes on shit I had no interest in whatsoever. Yeah, two will be fire. Then that'd be that'd be good to watch. We have to watch um Terminator one and two. Wait, did he uh, did he pay a hundred dollars for us to say the n word, or was he just no, saying? No, 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 no. He's giving us the he, he's he's giving us the pass. That's oh, backstroke king the third. See, I'm using the voice on these <laughs> Donate. <laughs> Hold up, Chidori Master, Chidori Master. I'm gonna need to see a fifty. Uh, Deshaun, a fifty from you also. Let's come what on. The fuck? I'm using the voice on you. I'm what? Game, so boy, so me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we answer Darth Sidious versus Grammy, or is that guy just in limbo forever? Um, like, <laughs> what's up? Uh, I would give it like a real in-depth answer if it was like twenty, but I reckon um 
I reckon City is yeah. slaps, but Gre- Gre- Grammy surprisingly would have a better shot than people would probably lead him to believe. But there's too much, there's too much fucking Star Wars material that would just have him absolutely get shit stomped. So I'm just gonna say City is. Yeah, probably City is. Yeah. Anyway, Caleb, thank you very, very, very much for a hundred dollars. I appreciate it. That's my. I got three N word passes now. So you know, <laughs> if I'm you rack- hold on to them without using, did they like build equity? Like. How's yep. that work? Equity, equity. Yeah, I can just start going on a racial rampage on the stream <laughs> after, after enough time. Um, like, what is it uh, worth? Chidori Master, yeah, I want you to drop a 50. Go on, drop a 50. Um, how strong would a Xenomorph Viltrumite hybrid be? Uh, crisis thoughts? Like, I guess stronger than a what in the Viltrumite. Fuck? I guess. They're like, you know, <laughs> supposed to be super deadly uh, evolutions of whatever. Perhaps a more, a more, f- you know, a more flexible or, uh, you know, a Viltrumite with more range, maybe a little bit, you know, like. Crawling on walls. Extendo bite, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah. Two dollars sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Good. Nice. Sick. Fifty dollars. Hottest Naruto power scaling take, and why you think it. Also have a good stream. Okay, Clyde, do you have one? I I think we we can both get one. Um, I'm trying to think. Of, I'm trying to think of one now. Hottest, hottest Naruto power scaling take, and why you think it. Also, hottest fucking. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that reaction. <laughs> oh, this Naruto power scaling so you why you think it also. I think Kasame is way stronger than fucking most people would think, to be honest. I, know, I feel like he's really fucking underrated, but he just got dicked on with the narrative. Like, mm. he just had such an unfortunate fucking showing, but I think he's uh, probably a lot stronger uh, than he's than most people believe. What do you. Um, why do you think that? Fuck, based on the way, like, they compare his chakra to Tail Beast and shit and how he's, like, duoed up with Itachi and Itachi and him have, like, this mutual respect and then him being a seven ninja swordsman too, like, it's it's just sucks that he just didn't fucking do enough, but mm. I don't know if that's even... It's not even a hot take, really, but, like, I'd say that... Um, yeah, because you obviously he wants something, like, that's, like, a bit conflicting. Um yeah. God damn! Like you got like, you like got like a Kakazu beats pain level take or what? Like, I'm fucking. I'm thinking, dude. I'm I'm re- reaching <laughs> you, into the you, fucking past. Yeah, I know. We see it, bro. You're in your Shikamaru pose right now. I'm waiting. He's he's cooking I was something. Legit, I was legit rubbing my chin. Can we get the hottest, Shikamaru theme playing? Hot, <laughs> hottest, hottest Naruto power scaling take and why you think it... Yeah, man, probably, I'd probably take some position like Madara can be fucking Kage or something like that. That would probably be the edgiest one I'd take, to be honest. Mm. Like, I'd try to argue it correctly. Might not be like, too hot, though. I feel like a lot of, like, normal fans think that anyway. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I feel like if it was Bleach, I'd have so many answers. But I feel like yeah. with Naruto, I, I generally just like the story just up until the way that motherfucker was treated at the end. But apart from that, I actually think Naruto is pretty fine. I don't really have any hot takes on the scaling and stuff. Um, I, th- I, I guess the maybe something that we talked about recently is I feel like a lot of the characters are a lot more relative in speed overall than some people might. Maybe we could get a fifty for a Bleach hot take. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. If you, yeah. if you if you do that for me, I'll uh, <coughs> your backstroke backstroke king the third. If you um if you drop a fifty, I'll give you some form of a bleach one because I can answer that better. But I'm sure Seth's got something he believes in Naruto wise as equivalent. Hottest Naruto power scaling take and why you think it. Also have a good stream. <laughs> I feel like my takes aren't hot takes; they're just facts. But you know, um. What's something that I'm kind of pushing it with? What's something I'm pushing it with a little bit? It's got to be, like, interesting, too. Like, Do you think uh, when you said that, like, I, I, I don't know anything about Naruto, but I've mm-hmm. seen your videos on it where it's you said that Naruto and Sasuke could solo, like, this entire like contingent of the verse. 
Mm, was that at all like a hot take? No, nah, I don't think so. No. Mm. Mm, uh, let me see. Maybe like, maybe like heavy Sasuke being stronger than like all of the Akatsuki kind of being true, like low key, um, a bit. Um, maybe that argument I presented, I believe it a little bit more than I want to. Um, I think like just the other characters have some hacks on him is all. Um, maybe the. Itachi being above the Akatsuki, maybe. It's not really that hot, though. Uh, maybe there's a decent argument for, you know, War Art Killer B being above Minato. Like, base Minato. Like, that might be possible. Um, other than that, I don't know if I have, like, a really that many hot takes uh, too much. Like, maybe maybe the current argument is, like, Mizuki might be able to fight some Sound 4 guys. <laughs> like, that's about it. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't really, I don't really know. What do you guys think is something that I've said um, is a hot take, perhaps? The Shrug. problem is we just, the problem is, is that we, we scale on Naruto correctly, so there isn't any hot takes. It's just facts. Like, that's just the yeah, fucking I feel like, truth. I feel like Naruto is just a series that's been so hardcore debated that it's sort of hard to call it a hot take in the community like you know um too much it's just been so fleshed out um yeah i think those are the hottest takes though maybe itachi and sasuke are like very powerful in the akatsuki i think itachi's the strongest akatsuki member maybe sasuke is actually stronger than them even if they have hacks to beat him um that's probably what i would say yeah Something like that. Uh, Backstroke King the Third. Like I said, though, you you specifically drop a, another one, and I'll uh, I'll give you a bleach one. I actually have one on, on the top of my mind right now. I can talk about um, Chidori. Actually, did it. He dropped the fucking a fifty, as I as I said, using the voice. Uh, he says with the Canadian flag, I got an Alucard Helsing versus Gojo video being edited right now. Who y'all think wins? We can we can watch it uh, on one of the future streams if you donate for that. We can give you our thoughts on the video. Um, I don't know about Alucard. To be fucking honest, I have no knowledge on him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say Gojo. I don't know. What, what do you know about uh, Helsing, Seth? Uh, I'm still I'm still like on this other thing, real quick. Um, real quick. But oh shit, my bad. Um, I think if you want to hear my heavy Sasuke argument, um, you can watch the I at one of my streams. I went into detail. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Where you can kind of watch it. I believe it was. green goblin or black flesh <laughs> it was one of those goblin. and then you can kind of just skim through the donos and then see which one has me writing out a list for heavy sasuke and then my itachi arguments you know i made videos we've all debated about it you already know that stuff kind of so anyway um there's a cyber man with rabies and gonorrhea solo jjk <laughs> oh brother no, <laughs> I don't think a normal Cyberman could uh, beat Gojo. Actually, no, they just—it uh, just doesn't have attacks that could bypass Infinity. And it also, um, you know, Infinite Void does mind hacks the Cyberman as well. So, you know, has no mind hacks resistance. It's just like a little fucking you know like planet busting goblin. But just because you're a planet buster doesn't mean you can, you know, gut through infinity. And it's, infinity is sort of infinite uh, 3D distance. So, you know, it's like, what does uh, AP really matter in that regard? <clears throat> Unless you're, like, blowing up fucking universes and shit, right? Um, Clyde's Jewish tongue making me want to gamble again to throw a 50. <laughs> well, um, maybe go to therapy well, about I'll your gambling it. instead. <laughs> you know, like, gambling is not good. I'll take it from here. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, I won't. Yeah, don't don't gamble. But in the future, when your money's up, you should drop another fifty on Seth stream. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Clyde's like, yo, you know, like if you stop digging, like the diamonds are right there, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What do they say? Every every fucking every gambler is one more gamble away from winning a gazillion dollars. Just think about that. Goblin on what? <laughs> 
Uh, craziest Modern Warfare Two story you personally have? Uh, do you have one, Claude? I kind of told I kind of told mine earlier. I don't know, but fuck. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm man. thinking. I have some brutal stories. And you know what happens? Games, you know what right? happens when I think. My fucking my brain cells are clacking. <laughs> Honestly, Alex the Ghost, like fuck. Right now, no, but for fifty, probably, like probably, I could probably scare, I could probably scour around and find you a, a nugget down there. You know, there's probably okay. some crazy story I could go. Okay, uh, is kid? Oh wait, this is the Alucard. I got an L Alucard versus Gojo video being edited right now. Who do y'all think would win? Hmm. Well, you probably know more about it than we do, but... I believe Alucard has some strange mind hacks, or some type of hacks... <clears throat> ...that might bypass Infinity. I'm trying to think about it. I don't know, maybe I could do some armchair for you, if you want, but... I just vaguely remember he has some hacks. Let me let me armchair it a little bit. Fuck it. Let's, let's armchair. Uh. Okay. Well, if he doesn't have hacks, he's getting shit on badly. Apparently. Um. Hmm. He can take your blood and manipulate your soul with it. Okay. He's like he's like some kind of weird like extreme version of a bloodbender. I was going to say he kind of reminds me of a faction of people. Um <laughs> Okay. Okay, he's able to like calmly can control minds. Um if he can dematerialize and kind of like if he can dematerialize into a soul hack Perhaps he might be able to manipulate Gojo, but it sort of depends if you think his ability can work irregardless of range, like he can like set a target. It seems as though, and maybe Clyde will agree with me on this, to get through Infinity you need some target manipulation. Um, the reason Goku can just punch through it is because he just ignores the space between them, but um, other characters might need target manipulation a bit to do that. For instance, like, Kamui will just appear wherever, he, you know, Kakashi's looking, so it doesn't, like, the distance doesn't really matter, right? Like, if he sees something, the Kamui will just appear there. That tends to be the idea. Um, so you kind of have to go over the range manipulation, perhaps. Like, does Alucard's bloodbending have, like, some type of energy that has to travel between them? Or is it, like, some conceptual blood manipulation? Like, it's... It, affects you irregardless of space and time like how you know if you go into details like that you can kind of extrapolate if you would do it i would think that it would work on him if it hits him but it has to hit him i think um so seems like uh seems like with his barrier that it's uh definitely physical stuff will uh it'll be slowed down but if you can like play something like onto him that I guess like pass it like a Kamui would, then you could definitely hit him. But yeah, I'm just not educated enough on Alucard to be honest, even answer that. But I'm, I'll just say Gojo for the fuck of it. Is Kid Boo's regeneration, stamina, and energy pool infinite? Uh, no. There's no, there's no proof of that. All right, you got fucking fifty from Mister Deshawn. What's the, what's the bleach hot take? Um, 
Uh, yeah, you did. You did drop a fifty to Sean. You did go, by the way. <laughs> yeah, thank you very uh, much. Thank you. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think Grimjaw would fucking smack Noitora if uh, if he's at full power when they interact there. I think that the fact that uh, Noitora hits him off guard with the intent to kill, and then he's surprised that it doesn't kill him, and then Kampachi exposes that every time he was dodging, the reason he was was because he thought he would get cut. And uh, he was doing the same thing to Ichigo until he realized that Ichigo was too weak to harm him. So if those guys were at full power, they would slice and dice him big time and it'd be fucking real bad how quick they'd do it. Uh, yeah, that's probably that's probably the main one. Um, other ones you guys already know from video stuff, like obviously the Yukiora shit. Um, I think... Uh, I think uh, Harley Bell and Toshiro are absolute fucking tomato cans. They're just such fucking bums, the way that they're portrayed in the story. Uh, Harley Bell is a total letdown. She should have dicked him down in base, like, for sure. Yeah, it's... it's I, I rewatched the fight, actually, with uh, Blinky, and the only time that, uh, that Toshiro ever does well is when he sets up his huge fucking, like, 10-kilometer, like, ice attack, but it actually doesn't even kill her. It, all it does is just freeze her in place. And um, it's like, if Ukiora was looking at that in his first release, he'd be like, yeah, cool, ice anyway. And then he just hit it with his fucking black zero. Like, it just, it was so cringe. It's like saying like, Rame is stronger than Maki because, like, she freeze, uh, they freezed her for a little bit, you know? Like, it's like, well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's, it's a disappointment. I wish, um, I wish that the Esparta that were in Karakura Town did far more because... Like, Ukiora is like, yo, I'm just going to casually throw a nuke out my ass, and then you see, like, the, the Esparta and Karakura Town. They're, they're shooting, like, like building-level attacks. Like, they're, having, they're, they're getting shit on and not, like, doing anything crazy. It's, it's like, obviously, if you pay attention to the scaling, they're impressive, but they don't do anything that really blows your fucking mind. Like, I, I was... Man, I'd be so satisfied if, like, Stark shot his gun and then, like, blew away half a consonant or you see some, like, a one-punch man type shit where, you know, when they, like, lifted up a consonant on one of those panels with that Psychosis fucking character. Like, there's just no, uh, there's no impressive cool things like that visually for the characters and they actually really feel like a fucking letdown. Yeah, uh, pro, pro last Clyde is, in fact, Jewish. Yes. Um, yes, that's why I can make that's, those That's why he's please. doing it, yeah. So, anyway... Um, that's actually something that, uh, got you and, uh, ask yourself a lot closer, I think, was the, the Jewish connection a little bit. You guys were talking about that. I remember. <laughs> yeah. That exact the phrasing, the Jewish connection. The Jewish connection. Yeah. That's why ask yourself and Clyde were a lot closer than, um, most people. But, um. Yeah, we actually, um, we, we had a bar mitzvah and everything. Like, yeah. But, uh. <laughs> Anyway, I was actually curious about your your hot take a little bit because um, yeah. why do you think Eisen made Noya Tora five over like Grim Jow six? Then like, what's the what do you what do you think, think the numbers um, mean? I think that uh, based on what Grim Jow said, you can actually get stronger, and Grim Jow may have gotten stronger between all his battles that he had. Uh, the fact that Aizen specifically set up the battles that he did with uh, Ichigo, because he claims to Ichigo that all the battles that he went through were specifically set up by him. So Grimjow was one of those. Ukiora was one of those. Noitora wasn't one of those. I'd assume based on those things and the fact that they had three interactions and Kubo matched them up three times and then how powerful that they came across to even Hullibald, that that would be the case. Uh, that he's so impressive, but I think it's more about that. I think Grimjaw passively also got stronger, like Ichigo did too. So they probably were were uh, getting you know the the increases, which uh, the others weren't because they weren't battling as consistently. And then obviously the uh, the off guard attack like that is pretty indicative that uh, if he if he was at full power, it would not have gone that way at all. And then um, you know again he was he he was like shitting himself at almost getting cut by Bankai Ichigo and Bankai Ichigo held off like multiple of his strikes and was able to save Grimjow too which is not good for Noitora and then Noitora gets blitzed and his fucking chest cut open by Nell when she's like nerfed multiple ranks below like he implies that um the ranks have uh changed so much that she would be ranked below him at this at that moment so it's pretty uh yeah, it's pretty, so you, it's pretty shit. His, his uh, so is I remember like back in the day. I think it was like James made like a fucking bleach Zenkai video or something. So I mean, is it possible that like Grimjow and Ichigo 
both just got like a weird bleach Zenkai after their battle too. Like that's why they're so the reason I the reason I think they yeah the reason I think they would have is because Grimja fought Ichigo in the first fight. Then he fought uh, Ichigo with one arm, and he fought him while he was in holification, damaged the fuck out of him. Then he fought Shinji, and Shinji was like, yeah, you're pretty strong. I need to finish you off. Grimjar tanks his attack. Not only does he tank the attack uh, while he's holified, he actually like reacts to it at point-blank range, replies with his own Sero, survives the attack, and he's been fighting Shinji with one arm and almost dead from the fight with Ichigo just before this. Then he goes to release, and which which would have been a problem, and it's like, He's having two battles there, uh, which after getting healed would mean that he got an increase. He then gets his arm healed, uh, and then, you know, he thanks uh, Orihime for all that. Uh, then he has a scuffle with uh, Ukiora where a Sero goes off and he almost loses his arm when he battles him. Then he gets healed again, and then he fights Ichigo for a third time. So there's, like, multiple instances where he would have gotten stronger throughout all those interactions. Um... Yeah, so I mean that's that, guys. Um, he also gets his arm chopped off and shit, re rehealed from it. I don't know. It's a lot of shit that happens, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean he sc he scales to Shinji and makes Shinji shit his pants. So I mean that's pretty impressive too. I don't think Noizora would be doing anything like that unless he released and so on. And then also that the Kempachi stuff doesn't help him because Kempachi like holds back so much in the fight that the only time he goes serious is when he's like. Oh shit, man! I'm I'm almost bleeding to death. I should probably put my other hand on my blade and then just one shots him. I think with um, I think he also does too well against Ukiora when he appears as well. Um, you know, I think we disagree on the whole whole thing. I think he puts it in the the hole because of like, you know, you're my prey and you know Ukiora's prey is the hole. But he does put it in the hole, you know, and Ukiora is sort of like a sociopath who might not want that just to happen kind of thing. So like the the reason I think I, I think would... I think that Ukiora is stronger than him, obviously. But I do think that Ukiora is Uh yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Say, say that again, sorry. I was Pop. gonna say I think that Ukiora is stronger than him in base. Obviously, and I think that his base form could even fight like maybe his resurrected form a bit. But um, I think that one thing that should be noticed is that Ukiora is still surprised by Grimjow a bit, um, which might be telling like he's been improving slightly. So yeah, yeah, that, that's always the uh, that's always the case. Yeah, um, the re I think uh, I think Grimjow bluffed in the scene, and he was like, "I need to get Ukiora the fuck away from me right now if I'm going to fight Ichigo because he was so eager." Oh for no, that of to course, happen, yeah, no, no, no. Ukiora dicks him down for sure, but yeah. yeah. Um, well, there is there is proof in that too that he probably was shocked because uh, it happens with Ichigo a couple times in the tower, and then he and then Ichigo shit talks him, and then he's like, "Yeah, okay, enough of that," and then he flexes and so on. But no, you're you're 100 percent right. Well, Clyde say that's anti-Semitic. Um, that the guy interpreted Clyde saying he's using his Jewish tongue as like him just like saying it randomly as like an outsider rather than like him just being like I don't know talking about his own heritage sort of thing, but. Yeah, uh, there was there was another joke, but yeah, now they now that now they know the context, so yeah, obviously yeah. I'm I'm doing it. You he, know? he thought I'm he, he thought he thought he, he thought he was just making like a just a random like Jewish joke, like <laughs> to to be like racist or something. Like that'd be you know, that'd, so. be, in, that'd be insane. That'd yeah, be he just, insane. that'd be crazy. Yeah. Like yeah, Crisis and I just don't make any comment. Like it's just that, <laughs> just be like that level. Um, how how dare you use the voice on me, Korra Avatar versus Gojo? Crisis, do you scale Avatar, or am I just alone on this? Um, yeah, what's up with all these Gojo alone. matchups, bro? They love Gojo matchup. Gojo's fun to match up, I think, cross first a little bit. But, yeah, yeah there are a lot to... I'm alone? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alone. Alright, well... I'd say this, I mean... It, uh, if you watch my Avatar video, I kind of go into detail. I kind of get clowned on for it. I'm like, all right, she's either like, she's she's either as you know as strong as like fucking holding back a volcano, or she's uh she's like out reversal. All right, <laughs> so like, you know, um, if you think that the whole you know Rava spirit and all that are like they have to be above any other spirit, they're like the ultimate yin yang spirits that are the 
above everything. They're like, you know, almost omnipotent, sort of like the the wand flashback suggests. They're above like the formless mother and like all this other crazy stuff. Then Korra would win pretty badly. Um, she should like manipulate sort of the time stream a bit, uh, goes through time and space. Uh, she should probably be immune to mind hacks because her body just sort of gets possessed um, a bit by like multiple personalities, by a spirit that's probably not affected by normal time and space. Um, so Korra would probably dick him down using that higher like sort of... I guess lore interpretation. Like, I feel like every series has, like, a lore interpretation and then, like, just, like, a, you know, empirical interpretation. So, like, you know, with Bleach, it's like, well, you could say that, you know, the Zero Division in their lore, they're supposed to be manipulating, like, an infinite fate. They're supposed to be manipulating, like, the cycle of this world and it has this connotation. And then in the real things, like, well, we only see technically a planet get shake, you know? It's like, well... So maybe, you know, with Korra, it's like, well, do you think she's only, you know, you know, big nuke level? Or, you know, is she really like this crazy godlike spiritual entity that surpasses these other principalities and cosmic entities deep in the universe? And Gojo would just get annihilated, you know? Like, um, and it doesn't even matter. Like, even if you highball Gojo, it doesn't matter. Like, highballed Korra would beat highballed Gojo. Uh, irregardless, so, I don't know, it, it's sort of, I'll leave it up to you, you know, what do you, do you like the lore explanation for Avatar, do you think you should just take it more physically, like, man, you gonna tell me this motherfucker throwing a rock is outerversal, like, you know, like, I wanna blame you, bro, like, they're throwing rocks at each other, like, you know, I get it, like, I get it, um, but, you know, if you do take that, you know, Korra would probably, you know, fucking beat the shit out of him, you know, like, <laughs> that's what that's what I say. I'll be right back though. One sec. Out of vessel rock throwing. Uh let's have a look at the other comments. Uh would you be offended if I asked if you were Ashkenazi or had different views, not trying to be disrespectful? Uh Ashkenazi Jews, that's a uh that's a genetic thing. Like it's not a view. Like if you if you're that if you're Ashkenazi Jew, it's your actual DNA. Like you can't just like turn that off. <clears throat> um let's have a look at the other stupid chats uh leon the sex god kennedy versus the current ufc helen he, he he would he would be everybody in the ufc even in the heavyweight divisions to be honest he's fucking getting hit by like building size like zombie weird like giant ogre men and stuff and surviving i mean even a cell Front kicking a dude's head apart is crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. The the amount of force he's generating with his actual kicks is insane. Yeah. Yeah. Hell um, in a cell back to back gladiator style. Yeah, he would he would beat everybody. He'd be faster than them too. You Clyde Crisis with three years of training under Kakashi and 50 million ninja people. I'll just say this, bro. The, uh, How far do y'all get? That is such a random ass question. Resident Evil 4, like, Leon doesn't take really a break the whole day. I think there's a point where he, like, passes out, but he's, like, he's dodging bullets and shit for, like, fucking, like, I don't know, like, eight hours, ten hours straight, pretty much, like... Doing he, somersaults through laser hallways. Yeah, like, like it's it's kind of crazy. You know, he also fights Krauser too. Like Krauser is really intense. He fights like he just does ooh. so much shit. Like it, it's ridiculous. Fights the big giant dude with the help of the <clears throat> of the wolf. Yeah. Um. I cannot if you, put if the you full didn't... comment on the screen, but I'll put the. If you played the original Resident Evil 4 and you didn't free the dog, you're a fucking psychopath, like, by the way, chat. <laughs> Remember when people are bitching about that? So they're like, oh, shit, we got to throw it back in. <laughs> like, Yeah, that's, like, such a key, like, <laughs> opening element and setting the tone of the game. Yeah. That's why I, I, I think that's why the dog is so weirdly animated when you save it, because they had to rush it. They're like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, boys, mm. get, get it going. Uh, you, Clyde, Crisis with three... Oh, uh, shit, this is the question you were talking about, I think. You, Clyde, and Crisis with three years of training under Kakashi and 50 million ninja pit bulls versus the Akatsuki. 
do we have chakra or like or that was I, my first question in my head yeah bro 50 million ninja pit bulls with like kakashi training like that's pretty significant bro those things could draw blood from zabuza you know what i mean like imagine 50 million like how many ninjas were there in the uh war Eighty thousand or something yeah like, that? like what i mean yeah, I Chucky think I think I think we can take them, Loki. I mean, there might be some problems, like you know, does does Datara just like fucking? Could he? No, he can't even bomb them all. No, he can't. He can't even if he suicide bombed. You wouldn't kill them all. Like you'd only kill like a fucking. Would he even kill a million of them with his bomb? <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, and then, dude, I feel like some problems would be like Obito. Because he would, like, I feel like Obito would just do, like, this perpetual guerrilla warfare, but I don't know. We'd catch on to his shit eventually, probably, I think. His little gimmick would, would grow old. Um, nah, 50, dude, the 50 million pit bulls alone is too much. I think, I don't think the Akatsuki can do anything to that. Especially with the Kakashi, like, honing and training them. I don't know if we get Chakra, but it doesn't fucking matter, bro. We just need to focus on these 50 million pit bulls. Um, Barry and Mode Bro, Naruto. Think about this. Like, think about this. Yeah, it took, it took ten yeah. to pin down an... Zabuza. I got a good analogy. Right in most in most like Call of Duty Zombies games, like the max zombies you're probably gonna kill in a higher like a high round game is maybe five hundred. Bro, fifty million ninja dogs. Just think about that, bro. Like that's fucked. That's fucked. And they're all that gonna is be fucked around the battlefield. <clears throat> 50 million Joni level dogs. Yeah, like, bro. Maybe, maybe Edo Madara could do it just by, like, fucking spamming, like, suicide meteors or something. Like, you know? Like, uh, even, even then, bro. Even then, the, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't fucking know. Can you imagine them, like, climbing on him like that fucking zombie movie? Like, <laughs> they're climbing on his Susano yeah, and just covering it. Z, you know? <laughs> World War z <-ing> his Susano. <laughs> like... <laughs> It'd be intense. <laughs> Modern would be like, what Bro, the that's... fuck? <laughs> that's, a whole, that's a whole nation like, of, uh, of individuals. Like, that's... At Chewbacca Tensei, wouldn't like cover enough ground to get them all to because they would be spread out so far i wonder if they could just stop it but there's just be so many they could just stop it um barry and mode naruto versus frieza saga super saiyan goku probably barry and mode naruto actually <clears throat> goku might be too fast though uh so it depends on the speed if you if you if you like highball if you kind of give the more higher ball, like, speed to Goku, like, you know, traveling the universe, like, the upscale from, like, start to series, Goku might be too fast, um, but Baryan mode is stronger, like, you know, even, even sort of being, like, conservative, like, I feel like solar system for Naruto is, is conservative, um, even, like, large star, you know, solar system, um, so probably, probably Naruto and just AP, but... I don't know. Some people will tell you there's some eyeballs for Goku as well, like where they create like that fucking supernova with Namek, and then they might have like way better speed. I don't know. Maybe Goku does win. Like even if Goku's weaker, maybe he just like fucking Naruto just like loses all his steam, um, and then just dies or something. Like I don't know. It it depends. Like it it would it would depend on the scaling chain, um. I'd say Naruto is probably stronger, though, conservatively. I think Goku would be, like, large star or star level, and then Naruto would be just, like, above solar system level. So more like a perfect mm -hmm. cell level fighter, kind of, or if not greater. Um, it's just the speed is the problem, so I'll let you, you interpret that how you will. And then obviously, if you highball Naruto, it, you know, Goku gets dicked on. Unless you think second form Frieza can blow up the universe. I mean, and then, well, then GG. You know, like fucking <laughs> good run. Um, 
Alucard gets a hack later where he becomes Schrodinger and gets as a paradox, which gets really wild appearing anywhere and everywhere. Yeah, he's like gonna be like Freddy Krueger in his fucking dreams and shit. Like, yeah, I think Gojo would lose, probably. Yeah, Gojo would probably lose, just get hacked. <clears throat> I, especially, especially if you have some good like speed scaling, I feel like with a hacks off you need speed. So if Alucard has better speed, then yeah, he should be able to. Mm -hmm. I think. Jason versus Gojo. Uh, Jason lost to a shotgun. I think uh, Gojo wins. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the two bucks. You'd break that down for like two hundred though, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, yeah, I'd go real deep on that. So this is the this is the PSI of a shotgun. Um, as you can see here, uh, uh, it's Jason getting killed by it. <laughs> this is him flying out of a window, being hit by launched. by four thousand psi. Um, yeah, not not good, not good. Okay. Uh, can an evil Batman achieve the darkest night form in the Marvel universe? Not that exact form, because that. I mean, well, so it. It depends on if you think Marvel and DC are like cosmologically linked. Like, can you access can you access a Watchmen esque or DC esque universe from the Marvel multiverse? I'd probably say no. Um, it'd be very difficult at uh, at least. Um, but he very easily could attain whatever equivalent of Doctor Manhattan. Like, he could he could sw uh, swap bodies with some higher level Marvel M body for sure is what I'll say. Uh -uh. Potential Broly black versus black Frieza. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. Broly black is beating the fuck out of them <laughs> badly. Like he's like what Broly is like almost on their level is just a normal super saiyan. You know what I mean? Like, could you imagine like if he had like a fusion level form like beast or fucking black or ultra instinct, like it'd be insane. Like he would fucking dog walk them badly. I don't even know Doc if I need, Hubris. I don't even know if I need to go into too much detail about that, but yeah. I mean, if, if you want a more in-depth answer, I can like give it, but I feel like it's just so cut and dry, you know, like, he would just shit on them bad. Just my opinion. So, no, Keanu, dude, Keanu, I'm sorry, me, me and my sewer, I'm getting covered up here with the donos. It's a, it's a blessing and a curse, you know? You're driving oh, he's, he's voicing Shadow in the third movie. How about that? <laughs> Keanu is? Yeah, Keanu Reeves. He's the voice actor for Shadow in the third movie. That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't even like Sonic, but I'll fucking watch that shit. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> That's so type. <laughs> da Dark Hubris, we will glaze Gojo, but you know the drill, Super Chat King, we'll fucking glaze the fuck out of Gojo. I'm sorry, Seth, I forgot about how soft YouTube is. I don't remember what that's in context to, but, yeah. I don't think YouTube's soft. I think it's just like the current years are, are a bit softer, yeah, in general. Always just looking for an excuse to witch hunt or take things out of context. Just how it goes. That's how I feel it like is. thanks to um I feel like thanks to X, things have calmed down a little bit, like on the on the softer side, but it's still pretty bad because you can still get banned like for certain having certain opinions and so on, but Sonic is good. I haven't actually watched the live action ones, but I have heard that were they were quite good. By the way, boys, I think they mean Broly possessed by Zamasu. Oh, what? Is that what you meant with Broly Black? That is what he meant. No, Leaf, you fucked me up. That's that 138 IQ. You fucked me up right there. Wait a minute. Broly Black. So like slightly from the future, I guess, has his body taken. It's you like say Broly Black. I feel like Broly Black would just be crazy. I mean, I guess it depends like if you think that Broly's power can only be accessed through emotion. But, but no, Goku Black can do that. Goku yeah. Black can do that. He does that with the scythe. So I feel like Broly Black would just be like 
a, a Broly that can just access, like, God Key and shit. Like, so... I feel like... able to go Rose. I, yeah, I think Broly Black would just still win, yeah. He's, like, almost on all their levels as a Super Saiyan, and then those God forms are, like, thousands upon thousands of times more powerful. Especially a person who has never used God Key before, then getting God Key for the first time and amping their base form, like... That's an that's that's an insane multiplier. Like I I feel like Broly would still win by that logic, and Goku Black could utilize his power as well, like the Scythe, uh, the Goku Black Scythe form, and stuff like that is using anger and emotions, so uh, and controlling them. So I feel like he would still do better. Also, boys, watch Fallout. Watch that TV show. That shit's fucking sick. That's a good show. I've been watching it recently. I gotta say, it's uh, I, I I've been watching both Invincible and Fallout, and I gotta say, Invincible sucks. It's like very, very like melodramatic, just like weird angst show that's kind of annoying to watch a lot of the time. Like I'm not really interested in a lot of the characters, but I feel like Fallout is is actually just like well written. So I would I would recommend it. I think it's it's fun. So my opinion, my opinion. If you're looking for stuff to watch, it's a recommendation. It's good, yeah. I actually, I actually like it a lot. Yeah. I think, I think compared to recent shows, I think it's way better than Invincible. I think that, I feel like with Invincible, the best thing it has going for it is the whole like, you know, uh, you know, Omni Man and like, you know, Sun narrative. You know, it's sort of like. But then they just never show it too much. It's all, it's like, that was like the first season. And then like, it's just like, now we're focusing on fucking Dale and why he wants to cut himself and how he's a robot and how other people turned into robots and how sad and annoying that is. And then look at, look at these guys, like their dating relationship. Look how, like how it's not working out. It's like, oh great. Yeah. This is what I wanted to see really bad. And I, I just feel like Fallout just has, like, all of these properties, but it's just, like, not angsty and weird about it or annoying. I don't know. I haven't read. I've only seen Invincible Season 1. I haven't read or watched it, but Kirkman, uh, the writer for Invincible, also wrote Walking Dead, which is a very, like, there's a lot of nihilism infused in that. Um, and Kirkman also, like, hates Superman, who's, like, one of the most positive, like, fictional characters that there could be so i do Bro, think that's, it's, you're probably rubbing off on uh on you in that sense no it's not even that bro it's like he focuses on these weird uh, clyde maybe clyde you watch season two right uh only half of it because it was so boring compared to the first one maybe maybe you can help me explain what i'm what i'm trying to say a little bit better so like christ could understand like why invincible is kind of weirdly done like the the show like it's kind of like i'd say like yeah I'd say it's like not, it doesn't like spend enough time on the stuff that makes it interesting. Like when that shit hit the, the peak of season one, like that battle between Omni Man and uh, Invincible when he like holds him up in front of the train and how intense everything was. So like we hit that like that peak, and then the storytelling from season two was like everything just slowed down. Like they wasted so much time on boring like character interactions that weren't relevant to that. Like I'm talking like just the random. Uh, the random like uh like cringe drama between the characters that wasn't relevant to the Omni Man stuff. Uh, when when they did get to stuff to do with him, it went back to being good again. But I think the fact that they also split the seasons up and released them weirdly mm. did not help. It's at also all just not interesting. It's not interesting at all. Like I don't I don't care about fucking robot Bobby Hill. I don't care. Like I, I don't you know why the fuck do I care about him? I thought I didn't even know he was gonna be a character. Um, I don't. I don't know, like, it... just watch Fallout, bro. You'll see why. You'll watch, just watch Fallout, man. Like, you know, just, you'll see why it's better. <laughs> like, more interesting, like, in every regard. Um... Y'all listen to Chuck, he fucks with Invincible. Uh, I heard the comics were a lot better. I heard there's some weird shit in the animation that's not in the comics as well. Um, so I don't know. 
Uh, if you had to make a team for the Terminal Power, but for mo <laughs> for mogging, who would you choose? What do you mean, like, if I had to make a team? Like, can I choose anyone in reality? Or, like, what? Like, what? Patrick Bateman. Uh... Oh, it says any fictional characters allowed. Yeah. Wow. I'll Lighter. choose, like, Chad Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, probably. Like, he'd, he'd be, a, be a good mogger. Johnny Bravo. Yeah, Johnny Bravo might might be in there. Um, Handsome Squidward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Giga Chad guy, I'm pretty sure he's fictional because he's, like, fucking photo edited, so I might as well just choose him, right, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe that team enough would be good. I feel like Handsome Squidward would probably do a lot of the work, but yeah. <laughs> Turn him into mogging. Yeah. Hamura versus Gojo. Um. Probably Hamura. Probably. I don't know. I feel I feel like she would. Maybe. If you, like, wank it. I feel like normally she gets kind of shit on, though, by Gojo. I don't think you, I saw anything from Hamura that would really negate what he does. I don't think I, I... Even... Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to, like, wank, like, her fucking devil form or demon form or whatever. Do the higher dimensional bullshit, but... I'd say, like, normally speaking, she just gets fucking ass-blasted. Like, she sucks. America, yeah. I don't know what the meme is, but I've seen I've seen some of it on Twitter. I'm not sure what it is, but... Someone want, somewhere said America, yeah, and it just popped off. Um, thanks for the two. Appreciate you. <laughs> Clyde, you want to fucking tag team with me on this one? <laughs> oh, I was gonna be like, you can handle that one, Chief. I'm fucking. <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Doc Hubris, the goat. By the way, he did he did entertain me saying, "Yo, you should donate for that." So you're a goat for dropping the fifty. Uh, why Gojo stomps that dumbass Sasuke eyes? And I have fuck. to lie. I just have to lie. Yeah, I, that's that's my immediate like knee jerk reaction of like, but I don't agree with any of that. Like, I have to lie. Yeah. Um. All right, let me go get some water, and then I'll cook up a good lie for you. Be right back. While he's doing that, Dark Urish, you should drop him another 50 for emotional damage uh, that you're about to cause. Crisis, you're going to start getting into these series. I need to see you on Bleach, JJK, Naruto, so you can chime in on this stuff. That sounds like a heavy commitment. Bleach and Naruto alone would, that would, be, that would have to dominate my life. Strongest version of Bucky all could be day one. Newborn. I'm here to fuck up the game, nothing else. Yeah, drop another one then. You should drop up another drop another crazy one that we have to talk about too after that. So you got two in a row. Drop a crazy hot take that's way worse than the uh the Eisen and Gojo one. I I bet you can come up with something. Crisis JJK first. It's lit right now. Yeah, it's it is really good. I heard it's good. <clears throat> are you a One Punch Man fan at all? I feel like you'd really enjoy it if you want. Nah, man. Just a Dragon Ball casual snormy. Fuck, dude. Try One Punch Man. That's up your alley, bro. You're a comic guy. I know. I know. I just I get distracted by other things that. To the point that I worry that I just fall off. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hello, 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 hello. I'm back. <clears throat> All right, I've concocted a lie for you. All right. He said. 
He said after this, by the way, he will donate again. So you got to impress him. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Actually, let me let me ask you. What do you want? I can go about this two ways. All right. Do you want this done via Gojo Wank or versus Bleach Downplay? Let's 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 establish that first. Which which methodology to your forgery would you like? <laughs> What what type of forgery are we talking? Like, what kind of finish you want on it? You want downplay or wank? Like, what do you want? Legit Lanius versus an elite predator. Um, elite predator like the fucking alien versus predator. For a minute, I thought you, I thought he meant Halo. But I think that's a I think that's Alien versus Predator. Do you do you know how strong those are? Crisis? Um I mean they vary. So if it's just like the main continuity, um you know they they kind of get overpowered or like outsmarted by like peak humans pretty consistently. Oh. Um yeah. But there's a Batman crossover where he just brutalizes Batman to the point that he needs like he's in like a full body cast and he's like a super suit to win and it's still like high diff after the fact so yeah I'd say like Atlantis beats the fuck out of him then um because he can he can tank like missiles he can tank fucking like plasma rounds uh he can catch people that might low key be able to move relative to a fucking laser blast in slow motion like he's kind of nuts when you think about it um he's strong enough to wear like weaponry like fucking 200 years into the future like he can just like terminator through it and then like slash you with the fucking bumper of a car and cut your head off and shit like so i'd probably say like him i don't know if he can survive a mini nuke as well but I think there is an argument that he could, so, um, yeah, Legit Lanius would probably just, like, chop that thing in fucking half. He'd probably be faster, too, um, weirdly enough. Like, I don't think the Elite Predator actually has any weaponry that, like, he couldn't just tank, like, dozens of rounds from and then just beat the fuck out of him with it, so, yeah, I think, I think Lanius actually does win pretty badly. I think Fallout is actually pretty powerful, weirdly. So, the TV show, not so much, but, like, the game, like, yeah, like, the game, which is the only thing we know about, especially because the new series apparently made New Vegas, like, not canon or something. Oh, come on. Yeah, they said say, uh, Shady Sands was uh, destroyed in 77, and New Vegas takes place in, like, 81, and, like, it still exists, so. Why would they go? Why would they? That seems explicit. Yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know. So New Vegas might just literally be a game only verse. So Legit Lanius is probably just like insane fucking like building level, <laughs> fucking like hypersonic guy <laughs> with the fucking bumper of a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, all right. So you want some bleach downplay? <clears throat> all right. First things first. Sokyoku scaling. How do you downplay that? You downplay it the same way you downplay Madara's statement. You'd say, it is fluff language, but you would just say that it can chop through anything in existence rather than chopping through all of existence, right? So it's not saying the halberd comes down and the universe gets wiped out or the planet gets wiped out. It's just saying, you know, if you put someone there, it's going to chop through them. It can chop through anyone or anything you put there. There's nothing that can survive a chop through it, right? It's sort of like the Totska blade can chop through anything in existence or it can destroy anything in existence. It's just talking about whoever you put in front of it, it will just cut through it right it's not saying it's gonna chop through the universe blah 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 in terms of speed you just argue that the Nagashion is a spiritual light beam but it has attack properties it just looks like light but it's not like a flashlight right it's not just creating a light it's in it's inherently teleporting you somewhere it has different properties than light the attacks that are called light, it's no different than Dragon Ball's Kamehameha being called light, right? So it's just saying, you know, the Kamehameha is a beam of light. Well, yes, it literally is a large beam that looks like light, but it does it's not actually light. So you can't just say it's light speed. So you just downplay all of those. You say Nagashian isn't light speed. You'd say Waco Mundo 
fuck it. You know when Nell and all them said it would take three days? She's just talking about her little toddler speed. She's saying, yeah, when she, like, walks at, like, fucking .5 miles an hour, it would take a long time. So it's actually a tiny, piss-sized little city. And that she kind of jerks off because she's a baby. Um, and you just say that, you know what? You could even go even further and say that Eisen... He sort of, like, the whole point of his narrative is that he gasses himself up, even though he's not really about it. So, for instance, Noya Tora is supposed to represent a, a piece of himself. So he's like, yeah, I'm stronger than anyone, blah, blah, blah. But then at the same time, it's like, oh, really? You're, you're like that, Aizen? Then why did you seal away Kenpachi? Why are you sealing away Yamamoto's Bankai and shit if you think you're really so powerful and so lonely? It's because he's insecure and weird, so he doesn't actually scale to any of these characters. He's just sort of like a weird, like, Machiavellian, like, egoist. Um, and all of these other Espada, maybe they can cut, they can destroy, like, a uh, Waco Mundo that's the size of a city. Maybe they can. Maybe they're just saying, hey, don't release under the canopy because you'll fucking destroy a chunk of it or something. Who knows if they'll even destroy all of it. So, Gojo, on the other hand can easily, you know, hollow purple through him. We don't even know if, like, most bleach attacks actually cut through time and space on, like, that intricate of a scale. It seems to sort of shatter through it on a sort of a surface level, sort of like uh, Uro's, like, cloud ability, or, like, you know, where she grabs the sky and shatters it thinly. The reason I say that is because Aizen later in his transcendent state, he's like, oh, yeah, this, uh, this black coffin, uh, it can warp time and space, or it can warp space. It's like, Okay, like so can fucking anything wasn't wasn't the series supposed to be doing anything that can do that So basically, you know blue red hollow purple These are all like Kurohitsuki level attacks and Aizen's opinion bending fucking time and space But Gojo's just doing it on infinite layers of information at a time Whereas Aizen's like well, I can increase the gravity a little bit, you know So he also sees like a mountain blow up and he was jerking it off Yamamoto's flames are gonna blow up a city and they jerk it off. Everyone in the series, like, tries to upscale the fucking Yuha, like, tipping the balance of the world and destroying it, and they just interpret it as, he's really gonna fucking consume all the realms and destroy them, guys. It's not, it has nothing to do with the balance. The Shinigami weren't called the balancers, though. So they all try to upscale eyes and all these characters at this level without proof. When you can sort of be skeptical and just kind of push it all to the side. The novels have Ichigo being scaled to like lightning and stuff like that. And I think everything that can be called light speed is sort of a weird argument. I think at best they have like Mimi Hagi being like sub-relativistic. But you can just argue that's how fast he was absorbed somewhere. That doesn't have to do with anything with the Mimi Hagi's travel speed or anything of the sort. The, at best, you know, you have like the x-axis like shooting like i don't know the concept of light but who's to say he actually attacks at the speed of light because he manipulates it he could just shoot a concept or use sort of like a light type energy and direct it other places for instance you know you could say that the fucking elites have energy swords made out of light they just it's just an energy sword that manipulates light into a shape to be used as a weapon who's to say that lily borrow doesn't do the same fucking thing he just doesn't he hardens this concept of light and then shoots it a certain way who's to say that he himself can launch things at the speed of information so you would say that Aizen and all these other characters they have no actual like you know continental or planetary scaling all of it has to do with balances or wanks and i don't know maybe maybe you know you just say you know the zero division shaking the realms that's a balancing argument they they amp their power level to 0.01 percent of what it takes to tip the balance of the scale and that's all it takes to destroy everything or shake it or make it go crazy. And that's why they're hindered. It has nothing to do with them actually being so strong they can destroy that type of stuff. You could argue Grimjow destroying the sun in the novel. Who's to say that these suns are even real? What if these are just like weird intersected and like uh, split off dimensions and these other realms were given their own sort of light sources? Aizen makes his own fake sun. And all we know, maybe the living world is the only place that has a real moon and a real sun. And these other dimensions are given these fake ones. And that's why the planets don't even orbit. Like, the, the moon is always stationary at one point. Because it's not even fucking real. Like, what if you just argue it's not even real? This dimension is just a sealed off planet. So why wouldn't it? Why would it be real? What if you're seeing, like, a moon in an alternate point in space? And we have no idea how its properties work because the bleach cosmology is fucked. So, like... You would just say all these characters have no light speed scaling. 
which Gojo does. Gojo scales above Kashimo's EM waves, should scale above Sukuna, who dodged it by eightfold. Uh, all of their time space manipulating arguments are just like shallow levels like Uro, no different than Uro doing it. Uro can't just ignore infinity. No reason Aizen could. No proof Aizen has resistance to infinity, uh, mind wiping him and fucking on him. No proof Aizen has manipulation to his fucking actual space time getting fucked with. Aizen thinks space time will, will hurt a transcendent being, let alone, you know, what he actually is other than him jerking himself off. Um, and so I, I feel like every argument you can present for bleach, you can just downplay it. You know, it's, it's just like Naruto. It's like, I'll make them Island and hypersonic. Why can't you, why do you have to make them like all light speed? Why is this light speed shit? Not just fluffy language. Why do I have to accept it? But with Gojo, it's just literally the concept. There's nothing to interpret. It's just factually how it is. So he has better mind tax. Aizen's Kyoka, no proof Aizen's Kyoka can work through a ti an infinite time space barrier. No proof Aizen can even react to Gojo, just uh, disassimilating him uh, on an infinite degree with purple or with his infinity. No proof Aizen could do anything. And the Bleach verse would just be like hypersonic, maybe large city level, you know, maybe, maybe. I don't know, maybe mountain level, you know, if you go by, like, them destroying a small plateau in their transcendent state. But other than that, like, what did they really have or do? You know, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not I'm not too convinced. Even Yamamoto's uh, argument, you know, like, the 15 million degrees will burn down the Soul Society. Yeah, you know, that could be a range argument, though. I mean, what is the actual energy output of the sun per second? How does emissivity work? How does 15 million degree Fahrenheit emissivity work? So if Yamamoto just has range, like his his uh the heat or the spirit pressure can echo around the planet, and he was to exert emissivity that can burn buildings away like the sun could. I mean, he's compared to the sun. 15 million degrees Fahrenheit is an energy claim. So his aura that goes around the Earth has building level destructive feeds of course over time his emissivity is going to melt everything on the surface of the soul society that's not even a fucking crazy claim that doesn't mean anything that doesn't mean anything what is that like i don't know maybe you could wank it to like country level or something like that like i don't what does that even mean it's just a range argument it's just building level range so maybe you'd have to argue that he can condense all his range into one attack like the fucking mugetsu and then like attack it in one spot to even be country level you don't even have proof he can do that so aizen doesn't even scale to that anyway yamamoto is probably going to be a threat in the future so what does aizen realistically have to beat gojo nothing he sucks Wow, um, I'm expecting uh, another hubris uh, donation for a secondary follow-up there. Um, round of applause in the chat, guys. Yeah, meanwhile, Yuki's going to blow up the planet in an instant. Like, what? Yamamoto sucks. Get Yamamoto to Yuki level. Like, what? Dark Hubris said, damn, Seth, you cooked. I think that was worthy of a secondary one, Dark Hubris. You, you know what's up. Were there any other donos at that time? Or is that the mic drop? Uh, that was the monitor I'll pull up. I, I, have to, I have to recharge a little bit. That fucking took my breath away.
Yeah, the Predator one was done. Um, could the Joker do some damage to the Hidden Leaf, or is he getting slumped? Yeah, he could create some Tom Fury. Yeah, I mean, he could probably convince a few people to, like, go psycho and just cause damage by proxy. His uh, mind hacks and um, being able to convince people is very top tier. Didn't he trick, like, that Mr. Mixy fellow into working with yeah. him or giving him his power? Yeah, 99% of his power. Just by That's talking insane. to him. Yeah. Comics are Lady, couldn't, couldn't her time stop negate <clears throat> infinity in other timelines? She has memory manipulation. Are you referring to Madoka? Like, yeah, so he, is, he, he is. He is. He is. Yeah. Um, could her time stop negate infinity? No. The space would still be uh, condensed. Also, Gojo is just yapping away in a place with no time. So, I mean... Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, does he just not have infinity anymore in the time box or what? Like, how does that work? You know, um, memory manipulation got to prove it goes through the infinity. Does it ignore targets? Can it hit you from anywhere on the planet? Why would she be able to manipulate Gojo's energy? How does her energy work? I don't know. Donate another 20 to argue with me about it. <sighs> Nah, make that shit 50. Leaf, Fit, late, I, I know ar, you donate 50 to argue with you. Know, drop your next argument to 50. I'll take it real serious. We'll go into detail. If he, if he's a real fan of Madoka, he'll drop 100 yeah, to you, make his point. If you, if, if, you really, if you really like Madoka that much, you'll defend your girl like that. You know what I'm saying? I would. If like if, if, someone is slandering Go, if someone is slandering Goku, bro, and I was in the stream, I'd drop 100. I'd be like, nah, get me the fuck on there. <laughs> I'm not taking this. Leaf, lady. Leaf Lady, if you're about that, you drop 100 right now to defend Madoka. If you're about that. I don't think he is. I don't think he is at all. I've noticed there's plenty of people in this chat that are not, that are just not about it. Mm. Have we all noticed that? Yeah, like Doc Hubris, he backed off. He said he said if it was good enough, he'd do it he, again. He, was, he wasn't. He oh, wait. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm wait, wrong. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> We've been humbled. He just blitzed me. Fuck. <laughs> he said, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> Damn. Um. Well, luckily for me, this one is actually not that difficult. <laughs> this one's actually not hard at all. Um. Yeah, this one's not too hard. Luckily, I'm gonna have to like. Give me, give me like two, give me like two or five minutes though, before I go on a rant again. Fuck. I need to get my inhaler too. I'll be right back. One sec. I'm hitting black flashes out here. You're the goat. No matter what's better with friends, so I'd have to put it off. I can donate 100 this Saturday. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Lee Blade, do, do, do it in advance, and we let you on the future stream. I think I think that's that would be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, our, we're still doing that stream for him whenever soon. So <clears throat> you can just uh, I don't know, we'll just throw you on on that stream too. Fuck it. Be the little leaf blade stream. He was just doing push ups in there, Billy. Non stop, just push ups, sit ups. I think Gojo did a little bit of training uh, after the. <clears throat> after the. Like, during the, the skip. I think Gojo was... I think the reason he didn't run up on Sukuno is because he was a bit more, like... He wanted to really give it his all. Like, you know, like, really get like get up to his peak. You know, make sure everything was in tip-top shape. You know, he really wanted to go all out, right? Like, no excuses. That type of shit. I think that's a big reason why he probably looks a bit more jacked. I think, you know, people are going to get mad at me. Like, what are you saying? Gojo train. I'm like, nah, I'm just saying he just, you know, he, he may, he sharpened his shit up, you know, like he was making sure he was in like peak condition. 
you know like you know like any ufc fighter or any fighter would you know like they're gonna make sure they're ready for the big fight you know make sure they don't have an excuse they want to give it their all you know what i mean so i think i don't think gojo was sitting on the couch eating fucking barbecue chips until like december rolled around you know what i mean like so Uh, can you do more Dragon Ball narrative character analysis? Yeah, I'm... Clyde and I have been talking about this Vegeta one. Especially after that, we watched that fusion video. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think it I think it inspired a little... A little flame in me. To kind of maybe do that. I think I can have a very good video on that now. That I've thought about it a bit. Thank you for the five. Why Ryoman Sukuna kills that fraud arbiter Uchiha? Seth is charging up right now. He's charging up his chakra. I'm I'm Godzilla in the Tiamat realm. <laughs> Fucking, I'm getting ready. Twenty times multiplier. What? That was still cool. You should watch that movie too. Dune 2 and Godzilla. Those are the on the chopping block. Yeah, when I wake up, I'm going to record another video and then it is. What the fuck? Oh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Leaf Lady. Leaf Lady's so fucking cool. Fucking hell. I love this fucking guy. Cool. Leaf you know what? Can I, you know what? Crisis, I'm thinking that Yamcha giving up on Bulma is like Luke giving up on the, the Jedi way. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> the same. It's literally <laughs> indistinguishable. It's like a, it must be an intentional parallel. <laughs> I think they're inspired. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Plagi plagiarism? Plagiarism? I'm feeling Could some plagiarism. I, I, yeah, I might go as far to say. I might go as far as to say plagiarism right there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. What the fuck? Thank you so much. <laughs> Bro stood on business, though. I gotta admit. Maybe we can argue base Homura versus Gojo. Devil Homura is certain victory unless you think Gojo survives the universe being destroyed. Okay. Yeah, I think Gojo can survive the universe being destroyed, actually. Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? Fuck it. Why not? Why can't he? It's all make-believe. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Le Leaf Lady was like, hold up, I stand on business. <laughs> He's like, no, I am like that. <laughs> he does work two jobs, yeah. He literally works a second job for the purpose of just paying bullshit. Like, that's what he told me. Like, just verbatim. Like, <laughs> like... You're the fucking... You're the goat, Leaf Lady. <laughs> like... Uh, we'll, uh... We'll react to the, uh... The, uh... The, the, the Miss Air Fusion video probably on the weekend. Let me... Let me record my new video. We'll, we'll stream it on Twitch. And, uh... We'll, we'll make that uh, a fire hour stream for you. You want to help me a little bit with this Sukuna versus Obito part? Or? Uh, this is this is how I would do it. Sure. If I'm Sukuna, I'm hitting that motherfucker like Monsoon from Metal Gear fucking Rising. I'm like, all right, 
every time he pops out of his little intangibility, the domain is just like, oh shit, aimbot, hit you motherfucker. Like every fucking time he's popping out, reappearing, the domain's just slapping him on the ass with the fucking slash. Yeah. Um, shit. All right, so that would be the go-to would be that because what Sakuna can do is just stand in the middle of his fucking shrine and then it just auto attacks everything that enters the fucking vicinity of it. It's not like a, an, a like other domains that activates like outside. So he's got that on his side. Like if Maharaga for whatever reason survives any attacks, it'll, it'll fucking adapt. Like, like for example, if Obito threw a kunai at him, like it could adapt to the concept of a kunai flying at him type shit, like, which is just, retarded to think about but uh any sort of his abilities could eventually get negged with time if uh obito doesn't kill him in one blow um fuck if he's i guess like depending on the level of genjutsu which i don't think this is even really worth mentioning but do you think that obito could have his genjutsu substituted by the megami body or is his genjutsu yeah i would i would just i would just say his genjutsu just sucks anyway it's just, it's just ass. I think it's wanked, so who cares? Yeah. Um, I think that Maharaga Sukuna would just adapt to every concept. I think it's easier to adapt to calmly splitting than it is infinity. I it's like it's no different than really like Uro like bending space in a little bit. It's just like go it's just like uh, Obito trying to like teleport away. All fucking Maharaga would have to be is like, all right, there is like a space here that he's going to. I just need to connect the space. And then he'd be able to do that much faster than he did in the Gojo fight. I also think that if we go off of my previous arguments, I'll just refer back to the other arguments I made uh, in the previous stream where I think it was called Colossal Conflict, where we got, you know, Obito and the gang to like, you know, maybe island level, you know, hypersonic. I think that they don't actually have the attack potency to put down Sukuna. I do think Sukuna does scale above the black hole. In fact, I think you could slap people in debates about that pretty easy. Um, I don't even think him scaling above Yuki's black hole is crazy. I do think that Hollow Purple and Infinity scale above that. And I also think Maharaga could adapt to it. Um, I don't think Obito, with his island level AP, hypersonic you know, powers, or any fluffed up language actually has a win con. Um, I don't, I also think this, what you said is true, that the domain would just sort of like insta hit him wherever he is. So it'd be sort of like, uh, Conan's paper bomb, except, you know, uh, layering an area with like fucking just like perpetual slashes instead slashes that might, you know, be on, on the verge of like fucking planet to star levels, um, and would just yeah, eviscerate him. Possibly universal, yeah. Uh, also, speed blitz him with the inaccessible argument. Just faster is ob just objectively multiple times the speed of light based off the EM scaling. The only way to get over the EM scaling is just to like, well, how do you know EMs work that way in JJK? You just have to be a fucking moron. Like, so you would just argue that Obito's language, he's just a statement merchant and statements can just be fluff language. Uh, re like Sukuna actually has real empirical feats that can be calced and scaled. Uh, he does. He actually does scale above a black hole. He actually does scale above electric magnetic waves. Obito is just pure statement merchant. All fluffed language. He has absolutely nothing that could scale to that level. Even him fighting off like KCM Naruto clone. We have no idea how much energy he put into that clone. We have no idea if Naruto is just caught off guard. Or how fatigued Naruto is. Or how much energy he actually puts into his KCM when he does it. At best you'd have like 10 tails Obito. But we kind of went into that with the more future proof stuff. Where it's like well... How strong is the Ten Tails really? Like, Al can survive a Bijou Bomb that wiped out, like, this Cloud Nation city. But he's not that level. He's not continental, right? Like, so, is, it, is he just a range merchant? So, is it just, like, uh, Sukuna is going to be sitting in this Bijou Bomb that can, like, make a wasteland out of, like, a huge area? But then it's, like, the actual energy per square inch is, like, what, building level? So it's like, can Sukuna's body not handle, like, building level energy per square inch on his skin? Like, you know what I mean? So how strong is this Ten Tails or this Nine Tails really? Is it not just range merchant? Like, so 
I don't know. I think this is also proved by, you know, like, Payne being, like, probably the str one of the strongest in the Akatsuki, and his strongest attack is, like, what, island level by making a Chibaku Tensei or something like that? I think that's actually proof of the, of the concept, that these characters really do sort of start to cap out at these lower levels, and even the Bijou, like, destroying mountains gets jerked off. Like, Tsunade is supposed to be this multi-continental fucking, like, brawler character, and she's like, holy shit, he just chopped down a mountain. Like, I'm supposed to just believe everyone that he's just crazy. Like, Madara and Hashirama, like, they're battling and they chop down a, a mountain range. They don't even chop, they don't even obliterate the mountains like Bleach does. When Aizen does it, at least, you know, he vaporized his mountain from existence, right? He's like, yes, me swinging my sword and it getting deflected vaporized that mountain from existence. Bro, Madara's just kind of, like, cuts it a bit. Like, arbitrarily, and then we have no idea if, like, the stability or the foundation of the mountain just gets compromised so it crumbles apart. You know what I mean? We don't even know. At least Aizen's blew it from existence. You know? So, I feel like Sukuna empirically scales above a black hole, empirically scales above EM waves, and can't, can empirically scale to inaccessible. It's not even crazy. Can empirically have beyond infinite targeting can empirically hit you with beyond with with immeasurable attacks via domain can keep his domain active enough for obito's kami to wear out obito would have no time to cast the genjutsu and even if he did what does the genjutsu really mean i mean maybe you could say oh itachi has this universal mind hacks blah 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 sukuna's just gonna redirect it to his megami body and then him and maharaga are just gonna adapt to it because it's way easier to adapt to than gojo's infinity and then he's just gonna be immune to anything obito can do and obito just has to run away forever as he gets killed by the king of curses like that's just how it's just gonna end like sukuna can end the world ten tails obito gets wanked off for that but what does it really mean it's sort of like you know what i said about yamamoto yamamoto is as hot as the sun his range can extend across the planet so of course building level ap over every building and everything on the earth will eventually destroy it given it a few hours you know like of course so of course obito shooting this building level per square inch ap over the whole planet might destroy all the buildings and things on the planet might kill all the people on the planet of course no one's disagreeing with that obito also doesn't scale the kaguya it doesn't scale the madara really at all he doesn't scale the really any top tier so he doesn't even have anything to go down that route he just kind of sucks i think so i think sukuna i don't even think it would be wank to say he'd be star level and uh faster than light i think it would just be a highball you just you just interpret infinity you just interpret hollow purple is above the fucking uh the black hole that's all you'd have to say how it, you know you that wouldn't even be wank wank would be like taking something out of context you know not giving it a charitable interpretation so star level sakuna faster than light beats up obito you kind of have to wank him off to even hit planet level or you know hypersonic only has fluff language he sucks Refer to Colossal Conflict about why Naruto sucks in more detail. I even explained why Kaguya probably sucks. I think Kaguya is just a range merchant. I think she just made, like, a existence erasing, like, a hollow ball. And then it just could just spread it outward. Sort of like a fucking Shinra Tensei made of true singing orb. You just spread it outward. It can be completely hollow. And she just has the range to cover this solar system. And that's all it would be. It would just be a hack. So it wouldn't even be AP at that point. You know what I mean? So... That's what I would say. I'd just say these characters are just, like, weird statement and hacks merchants. And I think Sukuna's is just better than Obito's. You know? Like... <laughs> After all these rants, I just want to say agreed. Like... That's... Give my two cents. Explain why Gojo shits on the stupid verse called Bleach. I actually already did. Uh, so you can, after this stream, this stream will be staying up. So just scroll back to when I explain why uh, Gojo stomps Sasuke, well, Sosuke Aizen. And I kind of explain why Gojo beats the verse. I mean, realistically, who the fuck beats him? I mean, what, the Soul King? The Soul King's like, yes, please dismember me, Gojo, please. I'm not going to fight back. Like, what does that mean? Like, he's just gonna, he's just gonna be like some weird pacifist that just lets Gojo kill him? Like, that's, that's their best guy. Everyone else is just like, you know, maybe a statement, you know. Statement can be interpreted wonky, you know, whatever. Fuck it. $50. Why Obito stomp Sukuna? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> 
This is gonna be my last one for the day, I think. <laughs> and then I'm fucking. That was a lot easier though. At least it's a lot. It's a lot easier, but I still need to take a breath of fresh air. I've been ranting. Why <laughs> fucking? I'll give you a good argument. It's fifty dollars, so I'll give you a good argument. You know why I think so and stuff. Thank you for the fifty though. All right, let me go get some more water, take a breath of fresh air, and I'll be back and I'll answer your question. All right, be right back. Guarded, guarded, Troy. Now someone donate. Sorry. Now someone donate for him to get pain over Itachi. Oh, I have to change headphones. They have died. Do you hear Death Battle is um, most likely done for good? Wait, they're actually like done and dusted? Yeah, they released a statement to their like channel members. Um, and they didn't say in like blatant terms like we're ending, but they kind of, they, it's pretty clear that they're winding down. Um, let's see. What a yeah, surprise because it was a successful series. Well, so Rooster Teeth got bought by Warner Brothers and mm. like, you know, their, their parent company, whatever. And um, they just they must have seen that a lot of this stuff like Ruby is also going under. There's not going to be any more of that. They were like, they're selling certain properties, but the rest of them, they're just uh, they're just shutting down. Wow. So, well, wow. OK. There's the statement. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. Yeah, it is pretty crazy shake up there to the scaling world for sure. Thank you for being the first my membership. We could not have made it 21 years without your support. Wow. Poor Seth being our entertainment monkey. <laughs> it does, yeah, a little bit, you know, like a little bit. Seth and Clyde by Death Battle. Caleb, drop another 100 right now and we'll, we'll put that towards the fun. <laughs> the buy death battle fund. Yeah, dude. You gonna help us out? Like <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Caleb, Caleb, come on, you know you know how it works. Watch him be like, Yeah, here's one. here's three hundred thousand dollars, like buy them. Like <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't even know if you could buy them for that, actually. I, I wonder how much it would cost. I don't think they're they they're not selling it. Yeah. Unfortunately. I, I think their series would be worth a few million low key. Yeah. It's such guaranteed years it's gonna last a few years at least as well like you gotta think about the the overall amount it'd make why obito stomps that fraud sakuna <clears throat> oh my head hurts bro um okay i guess the first thing we need to clarify is why everything i said about sakuna was bullshit so first things first there's no reason why Maharaga could adapt to something that doesn't exist. We don't we don't know if that's that's even possible. Like with Infinity and those types of things, at least he's interacting with the space or he interacts with the thing hitting him. Kamui is something that's not interacted with. So why would Maharaga adapt to something he's not interacting with? It's the lack of interaction that he would be having to analyze. Whereas with Infinity, he's like, man, I can't like punch through this infinite layer of stuff like i need to get through it so like why can maharaga just adapt to something he does he's not actually 
interacting with. It doesn't make sense. Sukuna also scaling to a star. Many problems with that. Many problems with that. For one, prove Yuki is even that level. Prove that that prove that Kenjaku even knows how strong that attack is. She's just like, dude, you, he, she was gonna blow up the whole fucking planet. Like what? He could just be interpreting what she did as that level of power. But we don't actually know. It could be a tiny black hole. Maybe it was going to destroy the vicinity. Maybe it would destroy the wider area or do too much damage to their, you know, maybe their more holy site that they had to protect. Why does Kenjaku know that it will destroy the planet? Is he Einstein? He's just a magician. He's basically a magician. He knows about magic stuff. Sure, he's smart about gravity and stuff like that, but why would he know the exact ins and outs of this phenomena? Does he have the fucking omniscient guidebook on how strong it is? That being said as well, this technique is not a normal technique. This isn't just a curse technique. All right, let's say Gojo has the strongest curse technique. Let's say that hollow purple is the most powerful curse technique. The black hole is a supreme technique that's also a suicide, all right? So hollow purple could just be the strongest normal attack. So that's why when hollow purple goes off, it destroys, say, you know, like a little bit of a city or something like that. It could also be saying it's the strongest because it ignores conventional durability, right? Ignoring conventional durability means that the black hole that doesn't ignore a conventional durability would be surpassed, even if the black hole has higher AP. In a similar sense, is hollow purple stronger than the infinite ball? Not necessarily. The infinite ball could have higher AP, but that doesn't mean that Sukuna or that fucking Gojo's attacks actually scale to that level. Gojo's just ignores AP. Sukuna's creature could adapt to bug skin, however complex that is. And that's that. That doesn't mean they actually exert more AP or than that particular hacks. And so what is Sukuna's best best scaling? Cutting apart a city? How strong is a slash? You know, if you want to bring up the whole Seth argument, oh, it's like building level per square. How strong is the cut per square inch? You can't even quantify it, so it just leads to absurdity. It just leads to a breakdown of power scaling in general. It's not an argument. Also, Sukuna dodging EM waves? Prove Kashimo shot an EM wave when he dodged it. Prove he wasn't dodging to the hand just glowing before he moved. Prove that. Prove he's faster than fucking, like, these Maki or Toji fees. Prove Toji even react actually dodged the lightning. What if his head just snapped in precognition and then he got blasted by it? Sukuna's still swapping hands like a Dragon Ball character with this guy who might not even be able to dodge lightning. That's like Kid Kakashi level. So, I guess what I would say is, Sukuna doesn't actually have any mind hacks resistance. So, Obito would be able to hit him with that. Obito can chop through Bijou-level beings that can survive attacks that can obliterate a mountain or a continent or whatever you want to say. So, Obito would have the attack potency to cut through Sukuna. Prove Sukuna actually has the AP per square inch to actually chop through Obito's durability because he can survive these attacks and things. He can survive a Rasengan from KCM2 Naruto who is a threat to the entire planet. Even if you want to say you can only life wipe the planet... It's still multi-continental levels of AP. So prove Obito can actually... Well, prove Sukuna can actually chop through that on a square inch level. We also know that, that characters in Naruto actually attack on the square inch level. So for instance, the Ross and Shuriken attacks each individual cell with its own individual infinite attack. So they do actually have resistance to these types of minuscule slashes. It's like saying, oh, well, Sukuna slashes one cell at a time. It's like saying the Ross and Shuriken one, would one-shot Madara. Bro, Madara was sitting there with no energy, pinned under a fucking statue, couldn't move, and he tanked a Ross and Shuriken. And the biggest Ross and Shuriken we've ever seen, he tanked it, and it didn't even do anything to him. Hashirama's like, well, um, thanks, Naruto, I guess. Um, I can, I'll, I'll do the rest. Thanks, dude. Good work. You know, just it didn't do shit. So these arguments I was applying to Obito, they just apply to Sukuna a billion fold. So you'd have to prove that Sukuna is even like 
upscaling from Lightning like Obito is. You'd have to prove he upscales like dozens upon dozens of times. Even Sage Mode is dozens of times multiplier from base Naruto, and he's fighting Kakazu. And then Kakashi, Obito, all these characters, these KCM2 level characters, they're blitzing these types of concepts dozens of times over, as we've seen the calcs and the memes. But the biggest thing I want to say about the, the, the statement Andy thing with Naruto is that maybe it's fluff language for a lot of it. But the Raikage is not fluff language. Now, the reason the Raikage's lariat being light speed is not fluff language is because it's specifically stated that it almost moves at the speed of light or it moves at a speed like light. If it was fluff language, it would just say, with his lightning fast punches, you know, grease lightning language, or at the speed of light, he moves to the battlefield. But it says almost at the speed of light, or around the speed of light. It doesn't say at the speed of light. It doesn't say as fast as lightning. It's not fluff language. It's making a clear claim. In the same data book that talks about an object the urn which does in fact travel objectively at the speed of light and then you know seth will say oh well when these characters travel at the speed of light rips their body apart well yeah if you've thrown across you know a continent at the speed of light maybe it's different than traveling at the speed of light for like three inches at a time so yes i do think obito does in fact travel at the speed of light and way above it. And I think Sukuna scaling to EM waves is wank. I don't think you can actually prove that. I think just because you can prove Kashimo can manipulate these concepts doesn't mean he's using them for particular attacks that Sukuna is reacting to. So I think Obito is just everything I said about Sukuna, but just objectively better. You could just make the same arguments in reverse for Sukuna, and Sukuna just looks like ass in comparison to Obito. So I would just say reverse my skepticism onto JJK, and Obito is just stronger in the end. So that's why he would stomp him. And I think if you're just being normal, like you're not trying to be, you know, super globally skeptic about everything in fiction, you know, who's to say a fucking, you know, when you write with a pen in uh, in a shonen, you're not using black dragon ejaculate and that has magical powers that can destroy a planet, you know, in every single stroke of a pen, like in Death Note or something. I think if you're not being weirdly skeptical like that and you're being rational... You know, Obito just has the objectively better scaling lines. And the only thing that, you know, Sukuna has is Yuki scaling, which is just objectively wonky. It just has weird connotations. It's all based on a character's exaggeration, but a character is not omniscient. The thing Naruto at least has, the reason, you know, all the Naruto fans use these data books is because the data books are omniscient narrators speaking. It's not a character's opinion. A character's opinion is fallible. A data book's is not, right? That's the difference. So Obito just has this more concrete, empirical line of scaling. While Sukuna, eh, I'm going to be a little charitable. I'm going to throw him a bone. You know, I, I think I'll give him that. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, well, if you're going to be a cunt to Obito, being a cunt to Sukuna is a lot easier than that. So, yes, Obito does stomp Sukuna. There you go. How far does Evolved Godzilla go into Dragon Ball? I think he gets to, like, Namek or something like that. Yeah, planet to star. Yeah, Unless I guess. you, again, think second form Frieza can destroy the universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, asterisk. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. in the that fine... present asterisk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fine prince. <laughs> yeah. Do you want Sekiro 2 or Dark Souls 4? Hmm... Sekiro 2. I feel like Elden Ring has replaced Dark Souls, and I'm fine with that. But Elden Ring has not replaced Sekiro, so I want Sekiro 2. Yeah, Sekiro is its own thing. Feels like a different game. I was a big Sekiro fan as well. I really like the I really like the parry system. Very satisfying. Uh, same for Godzilla Earth and Dragon Ball Verse. I don't know what that means. Um, Godzilla Earth. Um, I saw them years ago, but why does it say I have twenty four viewers? What the fuck? Let me see. Yeah, it's been bouncing up and down and glitching out. I've been keeping an eye on it. What the fuck? You have twenty four viewers on my thing. 
Now, now it says 19 on my side. <laughs> what? Where'd all my viewers go? It's because of the comments I made at the start of the stream. They come on for us. Yeah, maybe the view counter is actually just glitched or something. I don't know. Yeah, it is because it was bouncing up and down. Yeah, this says like 150. This says 120. This one says 19. Three. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm seeing three on my fucking screen right now. Got three Five. viewers? It's me, Clyde. Me, Clyde, and Crisis are the only viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you fucking fell off big time. I'm falling off, boys. I'm f I fell off. <laughs> Aaron Will says, Clyde, where do you think One Piece will cap at in terms of power? <clears throat> I'm not up to date with the manga, so I honestly can't give you a good answer, bro, but thank you for donating. Those arguments back-to-back -back are hilarious. Thanks. Yeah, pay another 50. I'll fucking debate myself just live, dude. <laughs> <Let's> fucking... <laughs> what do you mean Yuki's black hole doesn't scale to Sukuna? Are you, are you stupid? What are you talking about? <laughs> if someone uploaded that by itself, they'd be like... <laughs> Death the programmer showing signs of schizophrenia. Oh, this is why. <laughs> this is why. I like a... <laughs> Clyde, where do you think One Piece caps at in power? Uh, I, I already answered before. I said I can't give him a good answer because I'm not up to date with the manga, so... Yo, I got one viewer, boys. Woo! <laughs> For me, it's, 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 it's me. Uh... I'm the viewer. Yeah, well, me and Clyde aren't even watching. Man. Sorry. <laughs> They're like, we ain't gonna watch that garbage. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> now it's kind of scary because I don't know how many people are watching. <laughs> can it even go down to zero? Boys, can we get to zero viewers? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a ghost stream. Getting to zero viewers on. I'm actually just talking to nobody. Like, <laughs> this whole time you've been sitting in front of a screen that's off in your room. <laughs> Some crazy hallucination. Oh boy. Making what? up like complete fake YouTube usernames that you're applying to with Super Chess. <laughs> just ranting for, you know, tens of minutes at a time. Just self imposed. How am I a clown, bruh? Wait, oh, what? Oh. No, Dill Pickle just, like, misinterpreted what you said. He, like, over... He took that, like, over literally. Like, He thought... <laughs> yeah, he thought you were serious. Wait, I actually do have one viewer now. I wonder why it says I have one viewer. If I, like, turn off the stream, will it say I don't? Hold on. Let me turn off the stream. Let me see if I can get it to zero viewers real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I hope uh, my audience of thousands of fans love my rants today. I really sw <laughs> I swear I'm a popular power scaler, guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> now I have no views. No, actually it went up to four. Wait, I'm blowing up. I'm blowing up. He's on the comeback. I got four He's times. I, my viewers have quadrupled yep. since like five minutes ago. 400% increase. <laughs> it said negative one, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it says 180 on my phone but on pc it says nothing oh that is weird i wonder what the fuck is happening and before it's just been doing this even back in the day like when we're like oh the streams are just taking 30 minutes to start it's actually just being stupid as fuck like very possible my mom was doing it on twitch when we were live like two weeks ago like it, it said there was no one there, and then it, like, bounced up to 80. And then I, was, I wasn't even able to post links in the chat. 
One piece is planetary, no higher for two bucks. You're, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna argue with that. That's no, bucks. fucking hell, he's crazy. The golden control, he just controlled the meta right there. No higher. First <laughs> now. No higher. I refuse to see any other arguments. He he is the one that puts the bar. He's like talking about it like he's like fucking bidding on something like All right boys five more minutes and then we're gonna call The stream down. I fucking I blew my load on those 50s. I'm not gonna lie my, my head hurts So I gotta get out of here in five minutes. I was only gonna stream for an hour, but then you guys started dropping some Some more uh, of the reddish variety. I was like, all right, fuck it. so yeah. Five I more hit him, minutes. I hit him with the voice, or yeah. I hit him with the voice. You did. You did. Donate. <laughs> um, Clyde's muffled because I'm pretty sure you're like on your phone in bed, right? Like you're just I, I'm on my I'm on my shit mic now because my AirPods died. Oh yeah. Clyde's just Clyde's not even on his computer, so yeah. For him, it's like bedtime. He just like hopped on because he's being a homie. So I'm like, I'm like a tel I'm like a telemarketer, bro. I work well even in bed. <laughs> Low key, I do too sometimes. I think on our our first reunion stream, I was actually just on my phone because like my Wi-Fi went out. So that was the worst timing ever. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, if someone Wait, donated still, another fifty, I don't know what I would do. Like, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, Caleb. Caleb, you should totally not drop like. Bro, Another I, 50. I think if someone donated a hundred, like my head would explode. Like I don't, I don't know. I'd start, I'd start coming, like myself. But... Like, like Troy Cummings, like that guy. Mm. No. Kendrick versus Drake. I know who Drake is, but I don't know who Kendrick is. Ooh. Is Dr Drake's the rapper? Mm. But mm -hmm. is Kendrick also a rapper? He is. You don't know. You don't know Kendrick Lamar. No. I'm actually surprised. I'm not. I've never actually heard a Drake song, but yeah. Or do you you think you think Kendrick makes some good shit or what? Like what he's you... just that main. He, he's that mainstream that uh, oh. I thought you would probably you you would, you would have probably heard a couple of his uh, his songs. Mm. You just wouldn't know him by name, then. Tyler, thank you for the five dollars. I like the cute little hippos on your dono. I don't know, I don't know why your dono has the cute little hippos and then no one else mm -hmm. does. So your your dono is actually very special with that. You you, were, you definitely broke the mold. Yeah, he ate with that. Kind of trickery. You pioneered something with that one. I got to admit. <clears throat> Seth doesn't know about pop culture, just Google Plus communities. <laughs> yeah. I just know about versus battles and my two my two stream viewers, which are just my stream labs and my my lap my uh my monitor <laughs> watching it. <laughs> Kiki, do you love me? That sounds familiar. What do you listen to? I listen to Katy Perry. Um Airplanes. B.O.B. Fireflies. I like Neo closer. I've been jamming that lately. After a friend showed me. That guy's got a voice of an angel. So pretty, you know. Um, a blinky, yeah, I know. I, I like to listen to um, Call of Duty OSTs. So, like, I listen to the... If you look on YouTube, there's the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer theme. 43 minutes or 42 minutes. I jam that usually when I'm writing my videos. That's your good. I've been listening to that fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Now the Black Ops multiplayer theme is really good. Yeah, like the pianos. I just sit in. 
I just sit in call all day listening to Blinky uh, sing uh, over and over. That's really it is quite elegant. It's, it is very elegant. Same Ooh, kill him! Oh, kill him! Like, emphasis kill on him. kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking die. Like <laughs> I'm fucking. <laughs> You played Smack That. Smack That was my favorite song, but I'm more of a Hot and Cold by Katy Perry guy right now. I do like Smack That though by Akon. That one, that one is a banger. I gotta admit. I think the only other song I'm really familiar with from like the the rap genre is like Apple Bottom Jeans or whatever. But other than that, I don't really listen to rap. That's your favorite rap song, it's Apple Bottom Jeans. Boots with the fur. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I do, I do. Yeah. Uh, okay, 50 bucks. Wow, he actually just said, I'm going to kill you, dude. Thanks. <clears throat> it's a double-edged sword. It's like, uh, I'm going to have a bigger headache, but I'm going to have more money. So it's like, I don't know. Skrillex? I did like Skrillex. Like, the the... Was it scary monsters, nice sprites, or whatever? I remember there was a sick Bardock, the legendary Super Saiyan, or whatever, edit to uh, that song. I really do like Skrillex. Yeah, I only listened to no Not one song, but um, Rih Rihanna. No, I don't know who Rihanna is. Stop listening to this guy. He's just absolutely just. <laughs> what? Because I don't, I've never heard her or something or him, Rihanna. I think it's a girl. Boy, it's not. Boy, it's not a rap off the street. Like Hannah, like Hannah. <laughs> Bangarang. Like, oh, Bangarang! No, you're spitting. Bangarang is a banger. The Fire Sage. I heard a bit of a rumor about you, actually. Uh, Fire Sage. Really? Yeah. Apparently, he hasn't. Uh, he hasn't been kissing the wall. Yeah, he's real, uh, real anti. Uh, yeah, I'll believe it at that. He knows what kind of uh, coded language I'm speaking right now. You're saying he's uh, anti-architecture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we'll mm. go with that. <clears throat> Why do you hate architecture? Like, what's the argument? Do you not live in architecture? Fire, fire, fire sage needs to needs to explain. Maybe he's more of like a nomad. Yeah. He just like sleeps Slows under a tree. Doors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he's more of a natural kind of guy. Like just the trees are the architecture, the mountains. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm gonna have to get my inhaler again, and then I'll answer like why Sora beats the big, th the big three and Dragon Ball is kind of like a lot of information for $50. I'm not going to, that's like four series or five series for $50, like in depth. So I don't know if you could throw me a bone on that. So I'm a little bit more motivated, but I will answer it uh, decently. Uh, but I'll be you right should, back. One sec. Man, I hate this guy, honestly. Why am I even on this stream for? The Seth guy? He's yeah, fucking that guy. Right. Uh, that's a good point. He actually forces us to come onto these streams, guys. Like, he hasn't changed at all. He's he, he's honestly a monster. Like, he's, he literally <laughs> said to us, he said, I will ruin your life if you don't come on here and listen to me talk about this these crazy scaling questions. Well, Seth, Seth forced Clyde to force me onto these streams, and he doesn't know yeah. that I know that. So I'm supposed to have like like beef with Clyde, but I just don't because because he told me without Seth finding out. Mm -hmm. He's like, "You're gonna come on these streams, you're gonna listen to these power scaling questions, and you're gonna fucking enjoy it." <laughs> yep. That's why I'm in bed right now, because I, I actually have to. Like, if I don't, he's... Oh, God, I can hear him coming back. Well, you got so mentally traumatized that you're bedridden, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm legit crippled. Yep. Words do hurt. <clears throat> hey, Cross, uh... 
a crisis is Lucifer an aspect of the great darkness? Um, probably not according to the original like lore, but you can currently make that make the case. Yeah, for no money, there's my answer. Is my What's the picture? What's the context? Ugh, he actually paid for this question. I actually have to fucking acknowledge it. What's the context for the picture of you with cat ears? No. Oh. Well, <laughs> I got, uh, someone sent me some money. And I was like, I like, I like money. And, uh, you know what I mean? Like, just... You know, like, what can I say, you know, just cat boy mm. crazy, you know, like, fuck it. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Like the song, you know, like, um, I'm destroying my stream in the background. Um, but yeah, there, there you go. That's it. <clears throat> Thank you for the five. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not my best moment. <laughs> uh, why Sora beats the big three in Dragon Ball? Dude, it says I have zero viewers now. No way. I see one. It says zero for me. Look, hold on. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. Right when I was going to take the screenshot and change to three? Fuck my life. Oh, fuck. Okay, why Sora? Okay, so I'm not going to go into as big of depth as I did with just the 1v1 questions. So, you're going to have to bear with me. Because you're asking me to talk about five fucking series for like 50 bucks. Like, no offense. Um, oh, not just 50, dog. Oh, fucking hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Bro. <laughs> Fuck. You were ready to. You were ready to give a fifty dollar answer. Oh man. Okay. These three viewers are going crazy. These are like the most like wealthy three viewers I have. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay. All right. <laughs> well. Now I have to give a more complex answer, so it's gonna take more charging time. Um, give me a moment, and uh, I'll be back with Holy that. Shit. <laughs> Fuck! Wow! Thank you. Damn it! I was just gonna fuck. <laughs> I was just gonna fucking like, oh uh, fuck. I'll give you your answer, but now I have to be a bit more detailed about it. And then I'm going to run away into the bat cave. I don't think I'm going to have the energy to write my video after this stream, bro. You just made, you just made like someone's weekly wage. So like, I just, I know. I'll just chill out for the rest of the day. Yeah, I might, just, I might just go play fucking Dragon's Dogma. And just fucking <laughs> maybe read some read a book watch some fallout I don't know uh. Mm. It's a good thing I waited because I'm I'm kind of cooking. I'm kind of cooking. I'm cooking. Hold on. My, Worth the wait. My brain is coming up with stuff for sure. The folds. Mm. 
it's wrinkling like in real time. It went from like a it went from looking like a chicken breast to looking like a ball sack. Like it's it's oh it's getting my there. Oh, that's foul. <laughs> it's Probably a, accurate. It's evolving. Like. The Fallout series was amazing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Watch me like, yeah, guys, I'm going to go. And Caleb Roberts like, yeah, here's 100 again, uh, bitch. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, fuck. Uh, all right, give me two minutes and then I'll answer. Right back. <clears throat> fuck. All right, Clyde, what are we going to do for two minutes? We have the hot seat. Oh, shit. Again? Well, we better spill the beans on how he's been keeping us trapped uh, in these calls on stream. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, uh, I guess you go first. I mean, you know, he's known you for longer, so. Well, uh, it all started when, um, and then, uh, I can't talk about it. <laughs> It's very intense, chat. Just, just uh, you just gotta give him a space. Yeah, bro. I just want fried rice so bad. I want fried rice and honey chicken. That sounds good. Make me hungry, dog. Yeah, I want, I want that right now. And then sleep for ten hours. Then record another one of my videos. Chat. I recorded two videos yesterday, and there's two more scripts to go. So I will try my fucking best to be active. Ugh. And they're fucking big videos too, bro. The the one that I recorded yesterday was twelve fucking pages long. Ooh. And then the other one is a UFC video, which is a similar length. Meaty, meaty. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna collab with Noodles, which is basically done. The outro just needs to be fixed. Um. There's probably Le gonna be five. Five Dale. Yeah. Got a no, five no. video pipeline. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah, he's fucking. Sure. He's banging him out. Okay. He's banging him okay. out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and coming on stream while in bed. And you've been fucking hustling. You've been grinded, bro. You gotta respect it. Okay. Mm -mm. Why <laughs> why Sora beats the big three in Dragon Ball, and why they yeah. are frauds compared to the goat Sora. What? All right. <clears throat> I think the the first thing you have you can say is that even even Sora when he's considered like a like fodder or a fraud in his own verse. So like the start of Kingdom Hearts three, uh, when he goes to like Mount Olympus and he fights the Titans that like fucking like pin down Zeus, um, that. Zeus has the ability to change the constellations in the sky. Like, that's actually Zeus's ability within his own world. So, Zeus exists inside of a pocket world, which is a pocket universe. So, he lives in his own universe, and he changes the constellation instantly in the distance. So... Zeus, who's like the start of Kingdom Hearts 3, like maybe mid-level Kingdom Hearts 3 character, is arguably already outscaling the entirety of the big three, right? Like, Kaguya might blow up a solar system, you know, if you're being charitable, maybe she can blow up a few solar systems, right? Zeus kind of outscales that inherently. Maybe Bleach, they're destroying these, like, realms, like, I don't know, maybe they're... Maybe there's some stars within the realm. Who knows? Zeus is outscaling it. One Piece, maybe Whitebeard can destroy a planet. Maybe it's kind of big. Zeus outscales it. So, Sora kind of outscales the big three, even just kind of, like, through ass-tier characters, like, pretty blatantly. Now, when he gets to, when he gets to Goku... Right, Goku's whole thing is like they can destroy a universe through multiple strikes, through collateral. Um, maybe these universes are really big. Maybe they're not. We don't know fully too much. Maybe infinite means really infinite. Maybe it means very big. But the problem is, is that in Kingdom Hearts, the stars that they see in these worlds or in Sora's world 
are all their own separate worlds that he can see from his island. And so he sees basically a multiverse in his world. So he has to travel through this dark space Garganta to see a multiverse. And then he fights the X-Blade or the Keyblade with that's called the Keyblade with an X. And Xehanort's whole goal with this Keyblade, which is called Higher Dimensional or High Dimensional, is that he is going to reset the capital W world, right? So he's going to reset the world that has the worlds in it, right? So he is going to reset this multiverse rather than just a universe. He's going to reset multiple different pocket dimensions that have their own constellations and outer space and so forth. Because to reach the fabric that holds this multiverse together, you need specific technology. So you either need a keyblade, which can open up this Garganta-like space and then travel through the multiverse, or you need a specific type of spaceship, like a gummy spaceship, to then travel through this void of space. So Zeus, who doesn't have any of that, then manipulates these constellations, showing that his pocket world is its own universe. So Sora is then manipulating or fighting a being that can manipulate a multiverse, right? So maybe Goku scales to like, you know, hot, maybe he's like multi multiple universal level or something like that, but he doesn't actually scale to a fabric that holds an entire multiverse together. So in terms of speed as well, we know that even characters like Aqua can move in realms with no time. Uh, Heartless can move in realms with no time and they can get beat up by fucking Rapunzel with a frying pan like in her world, let alone fucking Hercules or fucking end of series Sora or Xehanort. So these characters just outscale these inaccessible characters, probably almost infinitely if you want to go by the Lord of the Keyblade. And at best, maybe Goku has some immeasurable stuff with the, I don't know, the... The hit time skip stuff. I would I would say him scaling to Arale is wank. And even like the Arale scaling is kind of dubious. You just kind of base it off some background art. Not necessarily an like, objective statement. It could be kind of interpreted however. It's still a little bit ambiguous. Um, so I would just say that you wouldn't even really need to wank Sora for him to beat all those characters. Sora also has conceptual level attack potency. So like... When you get attacked by a Keyblade, it shatters your concept to the point people forget about you. Like your heart, your soul, your body actually can get shattered and erased from existence. So these characters aren't attacking your soul or just your body or whatever. They're actually shattering your concept. So even characters like Aizen, like their immortality, like he has existence erasure uh, resistance... Even that might not actually resist a slash from a Keyblade. Like, a Keyblade might just shatter the actual concept of Sosuke Aizen and remove him. On top of just being faster, having this multiversal AP. Like, all of these characters would have to be taken so out of context to ever even compete with, like, a pretty grounded version of Sora. Even if you want to say it's kind of highball, it's not wank, right? It Wank is when you take things out of context. In Kingdom Hearts' case, it's just a highball to get them to, like, multiversal. It's not actually outside of what we know in the story. You're just interpreting it more literally. And then most of these other characters you have to interpret it more literally for them to reach these levels as well so i don't even think you need to prove the big three in dragon ball are frauds for sora just to have all of the tools to defeat them on top of that sora also possesses insane hacks as well so he possesses regen he possesses time stop conceptual level attacks uh and so with all of those abilities, even just those three, he has he has a plethora. If you go to, like, the superpower wiki, that shit's, like, fucking, like, 80 powers long. You know what I mean? He also flies, does all that shit. Um, so those three abilities kind of just stop everything. Like, Luffy gets time-stopped, gets slashed. Naruto gets time-stopped, gets slashed. Goku probably gets time-stopped, but maybe Goku could move through the time-stop and then... 
uh, Sora just outscales him. Sora also probably has a measurable shit where hearts can travel from the past. They can just have the speed to travel through the past into the future when they sense danger. So Sora has a better, a measurable argument. Probably just has better AP scaling. And with his time stop ability, which is probably stronger than hits, which has dubious implications, can't really be overpowered. Um, it can time stop beings that are probably multiversal. It probably just works on Goku. Any damage he takes from being off guard, he can just regen it instantly. His mana just regens infinitely. Um, he has stamina to fight pretty much forever. Uh, his character doesn't... Like, there, there's a weird argument where, like, maybe he fights, like, fucking 8 trillion nobodies, which is, like, an entire race of people getting killed. And these are beings that have inaccessible speed, can devour worlds. And then him, he's a little bit tired after killing all of them. You know, maybe there's an argument for that. But otherwise, like, his stamina should be enough. Like, those nobodies, these nobodies that he fights at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2 should actually be stronger than anyone in the big three. The only problem is Goku. He can 1v1 Goku easily. And then the big three are just like a swarm of heartless and nobodies. And not even that. Like, the, a, a heartless, like, one of those little heartless ant shadow men would probably blitz all of One Piece and kill them all. Probably blitzes all of Naruto and kills them all. Probably blitzes all of Bleach. Might not kill Aizen, because the Heartless don't have conceptual attacks, but blitzes and pretty much kills them all. And then Sora's just taking on Swords. So big three, not a problem. Goku gets 1v1. That's all you have to say. You don't even need to you don't even need to wank Sora really to say that. You don't need to downplay Dragon Ball or the Big Three to say it. It's pretty I think it's more cut and dry. And there you have it. Is this wanker legit? Uh, it's what I said. It's it's honestly more legit. It's like a, it's like a higher ball, but it's not wank. Yeah, it's not wank. Like you can interpret all the worlds as their own pocket universes, and then um, yeah, Sora's fighting a guy who wants to reset. You know, every one of the pocket verses at the same time. He can talk. He can stop time. Uh, the world of darkness in the Aqua game has no time. Uh, she's just running around beating people up. Um, there's there's a time stop ability that doesn't actually affect everyone. Like people can like not be immune to time stop, um, just shit like that. So, yep, Sora is pretty tough. I actually have a Sora video if you want to watch it. How strong is Sora? It's on my channel, where I go into more detail about that. <clears throat> All right. Now, before someone donates a hundred dollars again, <laughs> I need to I need to go. <laughs> so, um, I need to sleep. Thank you all for coming. Um, coming. And uh, yeah, he can also rewrite his own death. Yeah, even if they kill him. Yeah, he's he's fucking crazy, dude. Watch my Sora video, please. Like, please. I can't go into all the detail off the off the dome. But thank you all for joining. The viewers today were weird. I don't even know how many viewers we had. Sometimes it said I had zero. Sometimes it said I had 200. Sometimes it says I had 100. I don't even know how many viewers. But thank you all for showing up. Thank you for all of the donos. I hope you enjoyed my rants and me debating myself for money, I guess. Um, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Goodbye. See ya.